You said, huh? <sighs> hey, we're live on bingewarmers.com slash youtube.com slash. You're so dumb, dude. You're so dumb. You You're don't even know idiot. how dumb you are how right now. How dare you right now? What's up, everybody? We got a lot of news. Lots of news. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about the CinemaCon that... that uh, Ran for pretty much all week last mm-hmm. week. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way, though. Show your fucking trailers, dog. <laughs> okay? Well, it's an in-person event, so you can't, you know, it's like... Not it's everyone can get there. you going to offer me a ticket? I mean, here's the thing. We should have been there. We should have. When, when we get big enough? It's not let us. Oh, yeah. Overexposed. Why couldn't you turn it off? I forgot. I don't know. No, I'm saying just now. Oh, because you're closer. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I'll take it easier <laughs> next time. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Armor Donnie Don? How's it going? Um, yeah, I don't. I just don't like that. You understand that people want to see this stuff, you know? Yeah. You yeah. want to build hype, right? Mm-hmm. Man, I really did cut the shit out of my lip. Um, where are you going now? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Um, it's just like, we don't like, we want to talk about this stuff. We're going to talk about it. We have a bunch of stuff here to talk about with you guys, but we can't show any of it. It's sort of like non news. Yeah. It's like, we got a bunch of stuff to say. We did get a couple trailers that released. We got a couple uh, trailers. We got Mickey 17 and the Joker were like the big ones. Oh, that I, I didn't saw. see Mickey 17. Was yeah, you in, did. No, I saw that it was coming out. I oh. didn't see the trailer. I didn't know there was a trailer. I think there's a trailer. I did got something pulled up here. Oh, you guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, came out, well, no. <laughs> okay, you know what it is? This was, I think this was a COVID movie or something. What? We oh, like they advertised about. it a while ago? Yeah, 20, a, a year ago. It's supposed to come out <laughs> in March. Only in theaters. Yeah. I think this was a COVID movie, actually. Gotcha, gotcha. We don't talk about it. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of CinemaCon junk <sighs> to talk about today. You beat me up under the table? I'm kicking the fuck out of you, dude. Rude. Hashtag rude. Uh, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and start. Uh, WB, Warner Brothers. Yep. Had a big showing. Yeah. And by that, I mean there's only like three or four things I wanted to talk about. But <laughs> they're huge. Huge. Um, Joker is a movie that's coming out, and yeah. I am not particularly I'm excited. totally relatable to him, you know what I mean? Like, he's just a, such a relatable guy. Yeah, to me, he's just like the normal guy. Yeah, like, society really did something to I him. I mean, society is the... Just saying yeah. society, you We know? live in a society. We do live in a society, actually, yeah. And that society breeds the Joker. No, just... just don't even need all that. Just We live in a society. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just the most basic <laughs> way to say it. Yeah, like, I'm kind of wanting to see it, but at the same time, the, the cultural backlash of this movie is going to hit me like a fucking truck, dude. I just feel like... The memes you, are just not going to be funny, and I'm, I'm I don't sensing know, man. a lot of memes. I think I think the last one, I think that people got upset because they thought it was going to be a different type of movie. Yeah. But um, we, we, we may have talked about this last week a little bit, too. I don't remember. Have we talked about this? Uh, yeah, we talked about it a little bit just because we got like we knew that this trailer mm. was going to be coming out, so we don't have to spend a lot of time on it. But the trailer is out. I think the uh, biggest... We're going to show a little bit of it. A little, do a little sneaky peek. I don't like that they made Harley Quinn another crazy person because like part of her upbringing is that he corrupts her i do know? like that she's like a, a therapist but yeah in this, she's just like some lady yeah just Rich some guy. lady just some lady um played by lady gaga people were like now hear me out wood and they're like this is lady gaga <laughs> you're not saying anything this is famous here. pop star known for her you know raunchy and, yeah. stuff you know um there's tr- there's like uh you know there's like an element of musical to this I think. yeah um, what is the name called? Joker Folly Adi. Folly Adi. I think it's French for which is another thing. Why is, why is there a French subtitle for I this? I don't know, man. We're trying to get super artistic. With That's it? what I'm saying. That's what I just think. It's too thought out. You know what I, I mean? I think. Uh, I think Todd Howard. Or Todd Howard. Todd Howard. Yep. <laughs> Todd, Todd Phillips. I think he just went a little too, mm-hmm. a little too wonky on this one. Yeah. But you know, and and I'll be the first one to say this too. I don't love Lady Gaga. Yeah, like this isn't a Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every you know? every movie you talk about now from now on, it's gonna be. This isn't Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. I'm telling you, it's like peak. <laughs> it's not. It though. so is. It's like dumb bro sci-fi movie. No, it's not I dumb, bro, it's sci-fi dumb bro, bro sci-fi movie. You're movie. dumb bro sci-fi movie. Um, what about this shot here though? It's a nice blue. He's yeah, in a, he's in a tuxedo. Guys, if you didn't know this, my favorite color is green. I 
I couldn't remember the what is this? <laughs> no, I couldn't remember the Spanish word for blue. Azul. Azul. Yeah. I was gonna be like fancy with it, and then I was actually an idiot. <laughs> My favorite color is. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, <laughs> you got the um, like the the computer like chugging noise. Or yeah, whatever. or the monkey. <laughs> the monkey clapping. Yeah. What is that? The the you know that that noise I'm talking about? Like where you used to get on the computer and it yeah, was, it's like the dial up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dial up sound. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you think there's another Joker coming out after this, or this is going to be the last? Uh, it's got to oh. be the last one. There she was, Did dude, baddie. I honestly don't find her that attractive, though. Like you said. Well, no, I I wasn't even t- I wasn't even talking about her looks. I just oh, don't you like, just don't like her as an actress? as an actress. I think she's fairly uh, overrated, and I don't want to be. What mean. else is she in? She was in a couple. She was in a couple seasons of American Horror Story. I think. Oh yeah, she was I in at least that. one season. Yeah, and then she was in that uh, Stars Born movie. Oh yeah, yeah. She yeah. won an Oscar for how, for for her performance, and I thought that was the dumbest decision of all Didn't time. Didn't have Bradley Cooper in it. Yeah, he goes. I just want to free you one more time. <gasps> That's where that meme's from. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That I love okay. like disheveled Bradley Cooper era where he had like the long hair and the <laughs> long beard. American Sniper version. Yeah, yeah, dude, I love that. That goes hard. Um, what about this outfit? Do you like this outfit? <laughs> I don't think I'm really interested in Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. You know, give us something different, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. And I get that this is a different take on the Joker. I'm just not vibing with this. The vibes aren't here for me. The vibes aren't here? No. Do you like this one shot? Everyone on Twitter was going crazy about this one shot, though. What? It's where she drives oh, a where smile on the thing. I thought it was really cool, but... I thought that's a, that's a creative, yeah, fairly cool. creative shot. Also, why are they on either side? Weren't they both in prison together? She must be out of prison. I don't know. Maybe it's not Harley Quinn. Maybe it's someone else. Could be someone else. Look at that right there. Hey. Uh, the and I love Joaquin Phoenix. You know? He is good. And I like the first Joker enough. It just yeah. wasn't like my favorite thing of all time. Yeah. So it's just, I don't know. I'm going in this very mixed, you know? I think we'll just have to wait and see. Like a bag of Chex Mix. <laughs> like a bag of Chex Mix. I didn't realize Mix was in Chex Mix when I was saying it. Chex Mix. It's going to be as mixed <laughs> as a bag of Chex Mix. Yeah. 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 Um. <clears throat> anyway. Are you guys excited for it? What's, I mean, what's, the, what's the chat's thoughts on yeah. the Joker folly do? Folly do. I like saying it. Folly do. Um, while you guys are typing away, we're going to go to the next thing. It's um, Mickey 17. I like the premise for this. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Robert Robert Pattinson. Speaking of uh, Batman. Batman. Um, yeah. He's he's got like, clones and stuff. Yes, it's a, it's a it's an adaptation from a Mickey Mickey Seven something. It's like a yeah, book. I yeah, think. So, I, I've heard that. It's uh, it looks good. No, yeah, it's essentially they clone him, uh, to do things, right? It's like to, it's like he's like a secret agent or something. Yeah, but then he has a like one of the people he's fighting is actually like an evil version of himself who went rogue or something like yeah. that. It looks, I mean, it looks it looks cool. I like Robert Pattinson. I think that I think he really missed the boat on his stardom taking off after Harry Potter. A Harry little Potter. bit. Twilight. He was also in Harry Potter. Yeah, but he he's famous from Twilight. He's famous for me from Harry Potter. Steven. Cedric Diggory, dude? He's in it for like half Hickory a second. Hickory Diggory Doc. <laughs> oh, easy on that one. <laughs> I'm just saying. I liked him a lot more in Harry Potter than I liked the Twilight movies. Oh, that's fair, but like he's he's well known from the Twilight franchise. Yeah, but he's well known because of how bad those movies were. It's not know? his fault. He does okay. Exactly. That's why I'm saying it really hurts me to see that after that yeah. he kind of fell off. No, he did. He, he, he's picked up recently. I know recently. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I think if, if he had been picked up, Back when he was like Her, thin, you know yeah, what okay. I mean. So if he didn't, you think he should have not done Twilight? I don't think he should have done bad. I, I don't think he should have done Twilight. I, but he got a lot of opportunities because of Twilight, obviously. Yeah, but like, I just feel like he should have been shot up a lot further, a lot faster than what yeah. he is now. You know. I I really enjoyed him though. I think he's a good. Uh, Armored hasn't seen the first Joker movie. I'd give it a watch, honestly. Yeah, I would it's, just say don't like. It's not. It's not a rewatchable movie, but the first one is fine. I would say yeah. If you want to, you know, if you, if you like the Joker, if you like Batman. Mm-hmm. It's sort of a gross, dingy kind of take on it. So it's, I really hate dingy though. It makes my skin crawl. It is very like New York in the seventies. Yeah, there's rain like a and stuff. there's like, like a garbage strike or something. Yeah. So it's like p- piles of trash just litter mm-hmm. the, the streets. <laughs> um, I uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Mickey Seventeen. Yeah. I, th- I think it looks looks. Mickey good. Seventeen. I'm, I'm also sorry. Bong Joon Ho is the director. He did like yes. he's some, done some really good stuff. Oh yeah, what's he done? The Host, which is like a big kaiju <gasps> Korean film. Oh yeah, phenomenal. Did film. he do Parasite? Maybe. Hmm. I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. Let me look that up. But I think so. He Parasite also, was good. Parasite stressed me out the entire movie. Like I was stressed. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I can't wait for this movie to be over because the stress is killing me. He also did that hippo movie for Netflix. Did you see that? Hip. Hippopotamus. Hippopo- what is that? That's Oscar Isaac playing the guitar on <laughs> Jimmy on Fallon. The, yeah. <laughs> I will eat your foot. <laughs> and he like throws his foot up. <laughs> he did do. And he did that. He did Snowpiercer, which is a big one. Oh, I love Snowpiercer. That's um, literally Willy Wonka. 
Yeah, I've heard that. I've seen that YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. I just saw it, and then when, like I saw the comparison, and then when I watched the movie, I said, oh, "It's Willy Wonka." It is. Um, he also did Okja, is the hippo movie. I love that movie. Have you seen that? No. It's like this. Uh, they breed this like big. It's like this mega corporation breeds this like animal, and they try to like and give it, it to different real. farms. And they try to like take it away, but this girl's really bonded to it. And so the farmer's like, She well, fucked the hippo? No, what? Okay, I was thinking the shape of water here. Excuse me? She fucks the guy. That's uh, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, he's creepy. I love that movie too. Um, but Oakjaw, it's like she's trying to get her little, her little hippo buddy back. Her hippo pig buddy. But he's buddy. like huge, right? Huge thing. Well, it's made to, bur- it's it's bred to eat. So it's bred Why? for this cattle. It's oh, like, to eat. I thought yeah. it was bred to eat other things. <laughs> no, it's bred so we can eat it. Oh, that's sick. But they, you know, Does it they, taste good? I don't. I guess so. They bred it to be edible. And so the girl fell in love with it. She. It's like a pet. It's like a friend. Oh, I'm still thinking that. Why are you still thinking <laughs> that? You freak. <laughs> oh, no, check out Shape of Water. <laughs> it's uh, it's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Speaking of, I um, love Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. He's just a cool dude. He's good. He he's like a really uh, like obnoxious kind of character in this. He's, yeah. he's great. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So back onto track here. We got the new Superman logo. People oh are loving it. Oh my god! I didn't have it pulled up. I can Guys, it it's a fucking S. It's the same logo we Quit saw. Getting pissy. Okay, I'm tired of people being pissy all the time. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same logo we saw from the other day. Yeah, um, just um, it's just like a more clean kind of. Yeah, I think it's just people love hating on James Gunn for some reason right now. We're in the James Gunn hating era. No, I think it's. I don't think it's people. I think it's Twitter bots. Yeah, the Snyder bots. Yes, I think yeah. it's the Snyder bots because they. I mean, like. They're just mad, you know? They just hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> they hate us because they ain't us. Is this it? Is yeah, saying? this is it. I like it. It looks like Superman S. You know? I think it's a little... I mean, I can kind of see what people's criticisms are. Open image in new tab. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Are you having a good time with the hippopotamus there? I don't, I don't know the context of why he was doing that. And also, is it like an original song by him? Or was he singing something you else? Do, you should Google it. Give me I love report. Oscar Isaac. I think he's a cool dude. He is a very cool dude. Um, he's been in like every major franchise too. He has. So is um. There we go. Pedro Pascal. Yeah, he has. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the S. I don't know. It's whatever. It's the only criticism, right? Is that the there better not be one. I'll kill you. The Live it doesn't screen. like finish up right here. Like it's just kind of like a one big. It's like it mainly is like a big stripe. But this is a S. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, dude. I think it's fine. Yeah. I think if you're upset, go kick rocks. Well, how do you guys feel? Tell me tell yeah. me your opinions in the comments, please, and thank you. I won't yell at you as hard as I'm yelling at the Twitter <laughs> people. I promise. Um, no, I can understand criticism, though. I mean, it's not... I think the Man of Steel S is, like, ugly. I think it's over-designed. Okay, it's now you're going too far. What is? Because, like look, it's one? right there. On, I think that one looks sexy. Let me do this. You think this looks good? Oh, yeah, dude. That gets me going. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on now. Bear with me. Bear with me. There's got to be an easier way to pull these up. You know what I mean? Maybe. Okay. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. I told you. I don't believe you that you like this. Why? It looks like trash. Do you not? I like movies that you just can't fathom. (laughs) <laughs> you know I don't like how de- detailed it is how designed it is I There's love like that all these like little rivets if Snyder did anything right it was designing that I like the overall shape of it but I don't like all the little lines maybe I'm biased because my name starts with an S it's also dark you like, know you why don't... don't I vibe with Superman more you, you know? should yeah I don't really care for it's him because he's the he's too he's too honorable for he's you. He's just too easy of a character. You know what I mean? I think he's he's just just by force of him being the first one, is kind of like a detriment almost. He's just got everything. Like he's kind of boring, you know. But then again, I love All Might, and he's basically Superman. He's Superman with a bigger personality. Yeah. Like he laughs and yells a lot. Yeah. That makes him more. <laughs> 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 Don't worry. <laughs> Oklahoma smash. <laughs> Does the S really stand for hope? I don't know. Was that a new uh, thing? Was that a Snyder know. thing? Or was that? I don't dislike that. If that's, if that's Was if it that in the Snyder comics, thing. you think? I'm sure. There's so many comics out there. I'm yeah. sure that was a, a very yeah. innocent point. That's why when you were like, I'm going to read comics. I'm like, well, you know, good luck with that. I started the Invincible series. Uh, well, I think and the Invincible is good because it's very linear. Yeah. And there's a start and an end. It's very approachable in that way. Yes. Like you can just kind of read through Same it. Same with like manga. It's very approachable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just start and end. 
But you try and get into other comics, you're just I like, don't know. where do I start? I don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's hard. Like Spider-Man? Imagine trying to get in, into Spider-Man now. How? You just couldn't. Yeah. yeah. You'd have to like find one specific thing, find That's the issue one, and go for it. That's why I go by like events. You yeah. know what I mean? Like big, big even like Even stuff. like those events, like they're hard to find because you have to like go through like a Flash number 15. That leads into Batman number 277. And yeah. that leads into this. And you know. Yeah. It's tough. So it's sort of, sort of. Yeah. Superman S is not a big deal, I don't think. Yeah. People just like to be mad. They stay mad. Uh, Furiosa got you some. You know, move. if you're not mad, your blood pressure goes down. I'm just saying. Yeah. You could, you know, be a little healthier. Yeah. Uh, Furiosa got a new trailer, apparently. New footage, I guess, got shown from. Yeah, um, we didn't get to see it. We didn't get to see it. CinemaCon. That has not been publicly released yet. They were just showing bits of movies, like the Disney panel we got. Um, yeah, show that. You know who gets hyped for that? People online. <laughs> no, I mean, Disney showed the first 35 minutes of Inside Out. Yeah. So, like. We saw a massive clip. We didn't, but they saw a massive clip of uh, the new Captain America movie. Yeah, apparently. And I think they, they did it with a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah. Um,. Didn't Deadpool get some... Like, do you understand how much hype you generate if we all can see this? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Captain America, shall we? Well, I think we start from the top. Well, like Mufasa and Moana got teased, and we didn't get to see them. Yeah, I guess there's really not much to talk yeah. about that. Captain 4. Captain 4. Captain. Like, how did they get that picture? I want it. <laughs> you want it? Give it to me. It's there. You can have it. Thank you. It's yours. Cool. Um... Hip big bo- thing. Bottomus. His ass. <laughs> no, see, it's not even that big. Yeah, I see. There was people definitely photoshopped his ass. Yeah, they photoshopped. Who the him. hell photoshopped his ass? I'm just saying though, if you see him in the first movie with uh, Captain America 2, you know, and you see Anthony Mackie, he's got like khakis on the button up. Yeah. Bro, his ass be popping. Good for him. Yeah. Someone did Photoshop because the first image I saw of this it was, was like, like huge. Immaculate. Yeah. And I was like, what is, is this real? And I had to look at it further. Yeah. And I was like, this is photoshopped. Someone really gave I'd him a, it, a BBL. Know? I'd eat that cake. Someone BBL'd him up. Yeah. Anyway, um, the the biggest things I think. So for we got me, the the recast. The recast of General um, General Hulk. What's his name? General Ross. Ross. That is Ross. He's got no mustache. Which you weren't putting Harrison Ford in a mustache. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's you not. just weren't doing it. But if he's going to turn into Red Hulk, which he should, mm-hmm. well, he should have done it before the look guy died. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They had plenty of time to do it. Well, they didn't have the, the individual rights to Hulk at the time. Remember, they could they only just do had ensembles. The Hulk. Well, they did. Oh. Because so they, Paramount produced and made... Um, I thought it was Universal. Hulk. Universal and Paramount. Because if you watch Incredible Hulk, it does the Paramount. Thing. Oh, heard. But like, Hulk was not... We didn't get Hulk until like after Endgame, I think, he passed into the domain of Marvel. Interesting. Like Before that, we couldn't do anything but ensemble movies. <sighs> they need to reboot hard i think and just give us like more yeah and to reboot hard give us like no they're just now starting to cook <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> cooking with dog shit maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um other big detail in this image yeah, he's in a different suit which i like his suit from the show i like the rio i like a new suit every now and then yeah keep sure but like there's the, not much else you can do with captain america i would like in the spider-man movie the first three spider-man movies that was the same suit the whole time yeah and that made sense because he was a broke kid who like yeah he kind of had to reuse the same suit. Yeah, he, Papa, this, this Papa is, Stark. This is pretty much... No, no, no. I was talking about Tobey Maguire. Oh, yeah. I mean, he... Did, no, no. Tom Holland gets like a new suit every five minutes. That's what I was minutes. thinking. I just didn't want to... Tom Holland gets a new suit in every... He gets two suits in like every movie. I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> I, th- I don't think it'll be like that anymore, though, because he's only got the one. Yeah, and the new one looks bad. Looks bad? The one when it's like shining the light and he's like... You don't like it? It's just too shiny. Mm. It's a little too shiny for me. Spandex. I'm so. not with it. Okay. Um, but no, I, I like this blue and white one and we, he earned it in the last episode of the show. So yeah. like we should be able to see him in that for more than yeah. one, ep- one 30 second oh, for ep- sure. clip of an episode. Honestly, they should have JK Simmons for what that is. Yeah. That would be cool. Cause he got, he has the mustache cause armor 99 is like no mustache. How is venture brothers going to have a better red Hulk? It's true. Mm, you interesting. Know? Wait, JK Simmons isn't in that. I know, but I'm saying in my mind. Oh, 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 oh yeah. There. I love Harrison Ford. I just don't feel like he's got the stage presence for a Thaddeus. It's just funny to me. He hates he hates nerd culture and sci-fi stuff. Like and he just keeps casting himself in it. Well, no, yeah, it's, it's money. It has to be money. He but, has to be just like, oh, yeah, this, see, Marvel's going to pay though, me a lot. I love Harrison Ford, but if you're going to shit on every role you're doing, <laughs> don't do it. You know what I mean? I don't think he shits on it. I think he gets upset when people ask him a ton of like weird invasive yeah, questions. Yeah, he's like, I don't like it. Yeah. I'm just there. I hate Star Wars. I hate George. Well, Star Wars does suck, so. Anyway, um, whatever. This is this is kind of a nothing. Like we didn't really get a ton of stuff from it. Uh, well, he's basically it's leading us to believe what Captain America is going to lead the Thunderbolts. Because he says, "I need you to put together a team." 
Maybe. I don't know. Unless he's wanting to rebuild the Avengers. I think it's the Avengers. Yeah. Because the Avengers are kind of What if right they now. say it's the Avengers, but then... It's the Thunderbolts. It's the Thunderbolts. We did get some Thunderbolt news. Um, Kevin the asterisk. Kevin Feige confirmed Thunderbolts asterisk is the official title. He said, we won't talk about the asterisk until the after release. What does that mean? What are we doing here? Why? What is the point of this? Yeah. Also, now I'm thinking about why did they show the first 35 minutes of Inside Out? That's what I was saying, bro. That's like a quarter of the movie. Yeah. If you show me 35 minutes and stop it, I'm going to be so pissed. Stop it. They didn't. They only showed the first thirty-five minutes. They didn't show the oh, whole movie. I thought you meant like that was the movie. No, of stop it. I was like, you I don't know. Make it thirty-five stop. minutes. It's much more. But that's much more like, trouble for me. If it's an hour and a half, and you show the first thirty, it's like uh, me and my buddy Brody. Shout out if he's watching. Um, we played the Diablo beta. We mm-hmm. played so much of it that when the Diablo game came out, we were just like, man, this is gonna be a long first four hours because we played the shit out of the first four hours of this game and yeah. now we have to do it all over again so it's like oh i gotta watch the 35 minutes again just to get to the stuff i've already watched you know what i mean yeah it's gonna be that's gonna be those reviewers those not reviewers those people in cinemacon <laughs> yeah we need to get big enough we can go to cinemacon i don't think it's like a big thing to go to i think we could probably get into it oh really i think so where was that uh los angeles i guess it's always in california dude. it's either california or vegas or something i'm gonna like I don't know. I'm West talking. Virginia I'm talking something. directly out of my ass. I have no clue. Oh, okay. Word. I respect you doing that. <laughs> Just having no clue. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of Kevin Feige, we get him having a little fun with the Deadpool stuff. He said the new Deadpool is fucking awesome. He said that. Oh, he says I can cuss. Yeah, he said I'm allowed to say it. It's R-rated. <laughs> yeah, I like that. He's he's because you know he is shackled a little bit by the Disney where they're like you can't yeah. say that here, you can't do that there. And I think like having Wolverine in an R-rated movie besides Logan, mm-hmm. having like Wolverine at his peak and you a know comedy. What I mean? Is really good. Well, just in general, Comedy like having action. Because I, I got so tired of seeing Wolverine just like stab people into the chest. There was like no blood really. Yes, dude. How many times he cut someone? You don't see anything. Yeah, that, the that, guy that who tiring. could regrow his arms. He was just cutting them, and you saw no blood. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it, and I did Logan, like he's like, grow those back, pal. <laughs> he gets in the nuts. I think uh, a good, you know, a good uh, movie like Logan, right? Yes. But Logan, it was too like he was already like sad and depressed and out of his. Prime. Yeah, there was no gene. I'm excited for like what's a, worth living. You a, know? Yeah, for real. I'm excited for a prime Wolverine. Yes, like tearing it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, even though he's a little bit older now. It's okay. Yeah, seeing him work out, I'm like, shit. Yeah, we got the same 24 hours. Now look like that. He looks like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Get so like self conscious. Makes you question your sexuality a little. No, bit. but you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> if that's, that's if that's your thing, that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, he also said, Kevin Feige, uh, he said that they, well, they filmed um, a lot of extras for CinemaCon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deadpool and uh, Wolverine actually broke the third, fourth wall, excuse me. Yeah. And people weren't happy with that. They were like, Wolverine shouldn't be doing it. It should only be Deadpool. It mentioned Secret Wars. Hugh apparently. Jackman can do whatever the fuck he wants. Sure. I mean, me. it's not like canon to Physically. the movie. So, so you're gay, actually. You like, you like Hugh Wolverine. Jackman, who's not? You know, can't get up top. <laughs> No? Okay. I'll give you an update. Let's go. No, I'm just oh, okay. kidding, Damn. Um, no, but I don't know. Like, it's fine. Whatever. It's That's that's going to be the whole purpose of the oh, movie. Oh, Armored 99 right says we actually got the Deadpool Wolverine trailer like 20 minutes before the stream started. Bet. Can we watch it right now? I doubt it. Stay Dead tuned. Stay tuned on the channel. Wolverine. But yeah, dude, quit trying to gatekeep what Deadpool can do, okay? What do you mean? That's February 11th. Seven hours Seven ago. hours ago. Click that one. That was seven hours ago, though, not. This is screen culture. Yeah, it's not real. This isn't real. We'll, we'll, we'll find it. It's kind of the problem with doing it like during. It's two months ago, two weeks ago, six hours ago. No, that was the one you just clicked one day ago. No? Can you, can you drop a link, Armored? Yeah, send a link if you can. Because we're not seeing it. Maybe it's on Twitter. I can find it on Twitter. Oh, yeah. You'd think they drop it simultaneously, though. Um, yeah. That was my yeah. belly. Oh, that was the cat. No. I'm surprised you heard that. It was loud. A little oh, hungry. Pain. Just some gas moving around. You know what I mean? We can lunch after this dinner. Sure. I'm down. I'm down too. Doesn't in here, so I don't want to cook something. Well, we all have to wear pork, but I'm craving something. Something extra. Something extra. Um. Yeah. I don't yeah. I'm not seeing it. anything. All right. We'll move on. If you if you can, just put it in the put the link in there. Drop it in the chat, please. Um. Next up. Uh. Yeah. Well, you said Secret Wars. I'm. See, I was excited for Secret Wars, but then I watched Secret Invasion, and I was like, "This is shit." Just because they're both secret, they're gonna be bad. Is that yeah. Like, is, that your, is that your point of reference? 
Well, yeah, because Secret Invasions has to do with Secret Wars. I thought Secret Wars was like a multiversal thing. I don't know. Nightbrand should be in the chat somewhere. Tell us if they're the same or not. This is a popcorn bucket. Oh, it is. Wow, cool. We might. Can you zoom in on it? It's kind of hard to see on the stream. (laughs) Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, This was designed by Deadpool. That's like the joke. Oh, okay. So (laughs) he's got... A flush, flushlight mouth kind of thing. Very much like, uh, you know, in your face about the Doom popcorn bucket type deal. Oh, Armour said, sorry, the one I saw was from two months ago. It just aired in my feed today. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Well, well, at least we're still on the same It's a good page. trailer. Yeah. Um, that was a Super Bowl trailer, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Deadpool comes out, what, June or July? Mm-hmm. Question. We should probably have a trailer for it right now, you think? That's what I'm saying. We should be getting one soon. They did apparently, they did a ton of stuff with Deadpool in... Um, CinemaCon, like that was like a big, that was like Marvel's big thing yeah. this year was Deadpool. Well, they they need a win, so they're telling Ryan Reynolds, please get us this win. Everyone loves the Deadpool movies, please. And I think it's like, is it thirteen year old boys? Like, is that the is that the market for Deadpool? I don't know. I'm not thirteen. You think the most, like the biggest, I want to be the market of Deadpool is going to be the thirteen year old boys? Why thirteen specifically? Because I remember July twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It just feels late like, in the summer. It just feels like an Im- immature kind of vibe. Yeah, I'm with it though. Yeah, what sure. the shit biscuit? Yeah, it's very funny. I, you don't think it's funny? <laughs> I don't, it's just like one of those like bygone humor eras. It's like we're being random and saying it's funny, you know. I think anything Ryan Reynolds does is funny. Ryan Reynolds is pretty funny. Hint, hint, cough, cough. Free guy. Yeah, free guy sucks. Uh, same director though, Sean Levy. As the Deadpool movie. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Fun fact about that, guys. I begged Hopper for like two weeks to go watch this movie with me in theaters. And he said, no, 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 no. I said, I will buy you a milkshake from Dairy Queen afterwards because he was craving one for some reason. We watch the movie. Hopper hates every second of it. We go to get Dairy Queen. They're closed. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I remember this. So then we went somewhere else and they were also closed and we just (laughs) gave up. And I was like, I actually kind of felt bad after that because Hopper didn't like the movie. It was a bad movie. And then he didn't get a milkshake. It was like uncomfortable, dude. (laughs) It wasn't that bad. It was bad. Anyway, but, um, moving on to Alien Romulus. I'm so excited. What, do we get more information about him? Uh, no, they just showed some clips. They showed practical facehuggers and a chestburster causing a bloody spaceship crash. Dude, I am so excited for new Alien content, dude. Me too. Yeah, I love Alien. I love Alien. I think they should do more with Alien. Do more. Too. I want two movies a year. Alien Predator rematch, maybe? <sighs> yeah, but make the story better and make it visible. Yeah, the first movie story <laughs> sucked, and the yeah. second movie you couldn't see anything. It I was, thought it was the my darkest TV. movie of all I time. I genuinely because I had a shitty TV, it had yeah. like the dots and stuff. And I came to school the next day, talked to you, and you're like, "No, no, that's just universally known. <laughs> yeah, like it's, very it's dark. really dark. It's I think it's I think the special effects budget must have been slashed or something because yeah. it was not it, visible. Yeah, I couldn't see shit. It's also like it's in the suburbs. It's like that's, yeah. that's a weird place for Alien and Predator to be fighting. Mm-hmm. It's like and it was almost backyard. like the trailers made it look like it was a found footage film. Kind of, yeah. But then it didn't end up being that. I would have been, I, I, I'd vibe with like a Predator Alien found I like thing. found footage films, if they're done correctly. Like it Cloverfield depends, was yeah. phenomenal as a found footage. Good. I like uh, uh, Chronicle. Chronicle was a good mm-hmm. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll, we can move on. But yeah, Vomulus, super pumped for that. Super excited. Pretty much nothing specifically visible. Yeah. The Captain America That comes out this was, year? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh. Later this year. Like August, I think, or something? Probably. Um, probably. Probably. Uh, but probably. Yeah, Disney, d- release more stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> we want to see, like, Or footage. just release better stuff. No, it's, what you got is probably fine. Tell it's, me what you've watched from Disney lately that you've liked. I like the Mary Poppins movie. With Emily, Emily Blunt. Blunt? Wasn't that, like, five years ago? Yeah. <laughs> Was that the last movie you liked from Disney? I don't know. Maybe. Some of the Marvel I liked okay. Ryan and the Last Dragon. Okay. Yeah, it had Aquafina in it though, so I know you didn't like it. It didn't ruin the whole movie for me, but she was. It definitely, definitely put a damper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she wasn't that bad in that movie though. Like yeah. she was okay in it. I think that was the first time I really knew who Aquafina was. They definitely made her like a super old looking lady though when she's a human, and I was yeah. like, "That's so funny that this twenty something year old lady yeah, is, like, yeah. a, has the same voice as like a ninety year old." She dresses like a ninety year old. Um, like Shang Chi. We can Shang-Chi. we can move on to Paramount. Look, I'm telling you, I think Paramount's cooking right now. Paramount's got some good stuff. Uh, Transformers One had a teaser. Sonic had a teaser. Um, we got a, we got some news that GI Joe and Transformers are crossing over. Which we already knew that if you'd watched the last one, uh, Rise of the Beasts, they kind of hint that in the after credit scene. I don't I don't know if Rise of the Beast did well enough that they were like, I guess we'll continue this. But they had that uh, which after is such credit a shame because Rise of the Beast was so good. We disagree. Oh, okay. 
I didn't like it. I was so bored. I actually fell asleep during it. No, you didn't. I'm pretty sure I napped a little bit. You're more. a loser. I went back and rewatched it, and I wasn't. I didn't miss. I'm going to tell Retmo. Yeah, Retmo. Hey, buddy. The Rise of the Beast is probably one of the worst. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I'll, I'll let, me re, let me re, let me let me recalibrate here. Because like four and five are pretty bad. The first one's really good. The second one I don't like. The third one I don't really like. The fourth and fifth one. Fourth one was okay. Yeah, because that was the introduction of Mark Wahlberg. That one was okay. I didn't hate that one. It's it was funny really that long. The kid had like the uh, thing in his wallet or whatever. Yeah, the Romeo and Juliet law. Weird. Five uh, sucked. Five sucked. Bumblebee was good. Bumblebee was phenomenal. Was there I said, we're one? back. We're back, baby. Was there After s- Bumblebee was Rise of the Beast. Was there a sixth? Like, no. Nope. Okay. So Bumblebee was good and Rise of the Beast, not as bad as three, two, three, five. But in my tier list, it's like third or fourth down there. Yeah. It's not great. The human characters had nothing to do, and we focused on them. It wasn't like Godzilla Kong where we focused on the Titans more. Yeah. It was like, here's these human characters. You really don't like them. Yeah. And here's freaking Pete Davidson making the worst jokes you've ever heard in your entire life, bro. That's not true. I really liked him in that. You would. No, I don't like Pete <laughs> Davidson that much, though. I don't know. He was just I very annoying I cringed when I found me. he was in the movie. He was just very, very annoying to me. And I tried. I was like, open mind. I'll go into it. And he was making like Transformers from like the Michael Bay era jokes. Yeah. About like farting and pooping and stuff. I'll just shit and fart and come. That's what he was doing. That's the whole, that's the whole humor in that. Uh, Armor 99 says, I don't get why they're putting Aquafina and everything. She's like the female Chris Pratt with her appearing everywhere. That is true. Agreed, but I love Chris Pratt and I'll watch every movie he's in. Until the end like of time. Just because you're the end of time. I don't know. Said, I looked up your issues online, and it says you may have connectivity issues. Internet connectivity issues. I don't. I don't like that they both get overcast. But at least Chris Pratt is not annoying. Like his voice is soothing yeah. to listen to. Soothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Grant, he shouldn't be. And Garfield. he's soothing to look at too. I wouldn't. I wouldn't cast him as Garfield or Mario. He's a sexy man. Okay. We're getting. A th- we got a theme going in this. I story. have a girlfriend. <laughs> um. Where's she at though? She's not in the chat. Oh, you know she's not. She she's may driving, be driving. Yeah. I think she's going to concert today. Um, no, I think uh, I think Transformers and, and GI Joe. If we get some good characters in this movie, like good, yeah. like human characters, that'll mm-hmm. save Transformers. Yeah. Have they ever done? They surely have, they've done. They've crossed over in the comics and stuff. Oh, GI Joe. GI Joe and Transformers. Yeah, they're in the same comic line. Does anyone like GI Joe? I like the old ones with Channing Tatum. Okay. I forgot those movies existed, actually. <laughs> I forgot they made movies with G.I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pretty good. Um, what are like comics and cartoons that people like? Joseph G.I. Gordon-Levitt is the bad guy. He's the Snake Eyes guy? Yeah, in the first movie. Not Snake Eyes. He's the Cobra, Cobra Commander. Commander. Yeah. He's really? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Yeah. Um, is it Joseph? Hold on. Is it Joseph Gordon-Levitt I'm thinking yeah. of? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know if it's the, who you're thinking of. That's his name, though. Yeah, I know who his name is. Uh, apparently, Sonic Three had no Shadow's voice. Yeah, which, which is interesting. They showed like Sonic and Knuckles fighting mm-hmm. Shadow. I guess Tails was there too, probably. The rumor is is that he's going to be voiced by Christian Hayden, Hayden Christensen. Hayden Christensen of Star Wars fame. Yeah, um, just back in acting after. I like, just don't know why you of... would cover it up though. Why I love Hayden Christensen, but that's not something you really. They may just want to like because what, it's, it's April, right? Yeah, maybe May the Fourth. They're like, hey, it's oh. May Fourth, and we got. Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got Darth Vader with a Glock. Yeah. He's got the... Do you think he'll have a gun in this? No shot he's got a gun. It'd be funny if he did. It'd be very funny if he had a gun. It'd be funny if we saw some... No, I'm not going to say that. Okay. Like, you're yelling at me, so I feel like I can't say it. Um, oh, we got some more Avatar news. You forgot them destroying the Eiffel Tower in the G.I. Joe movies. I did not forget. They dropped massive missiles on everything. It destroyed, like, I Britain, I have even seen those movies. It was in number two... They did something with like they have kinetic, two movies? yeah, yeah. They did something with like kinetic force by dropping these massive pins from the uh, from space and the kinetic force of gravity and stuff. They were like, we didn't have to spend any money, and it's basically like dropping <laughs> a, a nuke because you just drop it and in it the blew kinetic up the force. Tower? Yeah. Oh wait, no, they blew up the Eiffel Tower in the first movie. My bad. And the second one, they leveled Europe or the UK with like a single. He said, missile. "This is what Joe's all about. America yeah. first. They because he gets everyone to launch their nukes. And then he gets everyone to destroy their nukes. And he goes, okay, now y'all don't have any nukes. I have this thing. And y'all want to see what it does? Boom. And it does that. And he goes, now all y'all got to listen to me. This is the snake guy? It's a different guy. Oh. But I think the way, it's talk, the way you said it made it sound like the G.I. Joe was doing this. No, no, no. It's the bad guy's doing this. I know, but G.I. Joe wouldn't do that. This made me think like- They've got Bruce Willis in the second one. Really? And Dwayne Johnson. Oh, my. Dwayne Johnson did that? Yeah. So, uh, Spoilers. For you, yeah. Channing Tatum dies in the second one. They kill him uh, off, and then Dwayne Johnson takes. He probably has like Magic Mike two to work on or something. So, it was something weird. Well, that whole movie got like scrapped and re-released. Like we saw a trailer, and then it was supposed to come out like a month later, 
It didn't come out for another year. Oh well. And then I think it was scheduling or something with Channing Tatum. That's so weird. Those are those are big blockbuster movies that, that like feel like the Amazing Spider-Man to me. It's just like kind of yeah. you know like in the uh, background phenomenal. Kind of a film. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Love the Amazing Spider-Man. Just they feel like they don't they didn't exist. It feels like something someone fake made. You know. Tungsten rods, also known as rods from God, they were used in the Ghosts Call of Duty campaign. Oh, oh. okay. So they were used in other places too. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Tungsten. Um, new Avatar news though. Oh my god! Oh. This is something you've been clamoring for, and we've had this news for a while. I don't, I don't want to talk about that. And the Last Airbender? Yeah, I didn't want to give my voice opinion on that. What? Why? Oh wait, okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Continue. So Ang, the last. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nothing. Ang, the last Avatar uh, has got a voice cast. We got Eric Nam as Ang and Dave Batista as the villain, which they haven't really said what his role is going to yeah. be. But he's really villain. I think uh, Dante Basco is coming. Dante Basco, Brasco. Yeah, the one who uh, voices Zuko. Yeah, he's, he's coming, coming back, back as well. I think mm-hmm. everyone else has different voice. I don't know yeah. any of the. Which is upsetting. Probably. I really want Toph, the voice actress for Toph. She's been very vocal about wanting to come back, and then they don't yeah, pick her. She does have a little girl voice. Yeah, it's it would still. And she's not gonna be a little girl in the movie. That's fair. It's gonna be like. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like she's got. Yeah, like, she the way she voices her is a little. It girl would just voice. be an actual grown up version of Toph. Well, they've recasted her before, right? Like she was different in the in the core show. Like the flashbacks. When oh she was, like, yeah, an I think adult it was someone Toph. else. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Why though? I don't know. Mm. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it'll be good. I love. Uh, it's the same studio that did the Rise of the TMNT, which people really love. The Rise action. of the TMNT, yeah, the 2008 one. No, it's it's like a 2018 or 19 or 20 or oh. 21. Or it's not the the Michael Bay ones. No, no, no. It's more recent. It's uh, it's an animation company. It's they do animation. The Seth Rogen one. No, that's that's Mutant Mayhem or whatever. Oh, okay. I've they, never that, even heard of Rise of the TMNT. It's good. It's like a. It's more anime inspired. Oh, is that the one where everyone shows with their fight with Splinter? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Where is this at? Where can I watch it? Why Netflix. haven't I heard of it? Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, really good animation. It's like anime level. Like Everyone's always saying like it's the best animation of all the, the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Ninja Turtles, though, we've got an R-rated adaptation of the I am so excited for that, dude. It's I want to really see, sad, I want to see Batman. He'd be like, this is where my parents were killed. And Cow he goes, cow a bummer, dude. <laughs> That's not the last Ronin. It's Batman. I know, but it's funny. You just want that somewhere? Yeah. There's actually a, a movie. You know that wasn't even real, though. It's fake. I know. It's. Okay. I, think he, I don't think he says anything. He yeah, just yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, The Last Ronin's a very sad p- property. Yeah, because like, I think, spoiler, everyone dies except for like Raphael or something like that. It's Michelangelo. Michelangelo. And then he has to turn serious and stuff because yeah. his whole family's dead. That was a big thing when it came out. People were like, "Who? which one is it? They didn't know. Yeah. They, kept, they kept it a mystery yeah. which one it was. But he's using all four of their weapons. Damn, dude. Does he bring him back to life? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're freaking dead. Oh, and dude. then they what, like, like rebooted fucking... the universe or something? I guess. I think this is just like a, a what if story. Oh, like okay. Thank like God. Mainline or whatever. There actually is a game coming out from Last Run and Two. I remember like nice. a teaser game coming out. They were out. like, oh, you like this? All the media. Everything. Content. Everything. You want it? Well, it's also easier because it's like we can do this single player. You get all four of the turtles' weapons. Yes. We don't have to like incorporate every single turtle. Because like, remember when Nickelodeon All Star Brawl didn't mm-hmm. put in all four of the turtles? Yeah, and everyone's like, we want this one. We Where's all the one? turtles? And Where's then all if the you put them all in, they're like, this is just recent. There's too many turtles. Yeah. Never happy. Well, they also, I mean, it's weird they put in, like, April O'Neil and the Shredder. Like, they had the same yeah. amount of characters they could have had, except they didn't put the ones people well, like in there. I would want there. variety over four turtles. That's fair. As long as you keep Leonardo in there, I'm fine. Leonardo's not in the same In my one. opinion, is the... Oh. It's Raphael and Donatello. That's in stupid. I think it's smart, though, putting Leonardo in one and Raphael in the other, though, because yeah. those are, like, the two main ones. And then... Like, no, Leonardo is the... the main I think Raphael is the leader in, in some cases. No, he's not. That's Cap. It's always Leo. Well, I mean, if Leo's not there or whatever, it's Raphael. No, it's Donnie. Donnie's not the leader. Donnie's a tech guy. It's Michelangelo. Michelangelo is not doing Raphael shit. Raphael is like my least favorite. Why? He's a bumbling idiot. <laughs> I like him he's though. He's kind of. He's a big angry idiot. I know. He's kind of angry. I like that. He's always angry. Anyway. Anyway. Um, that Seth Rogen one did get a. I'm uh, excited for the Batista thing though too. We didn't talk about that a little bit. Oh yeah. You, so I mean, I wonder what the villain's gonna be in this. I don't know. I just want to see Batista in everything, dude. It's his voice, so. He could, oh. he could do anything. Yeah. I'm I, Like, what do you want out of this? Is it just going to be like an Aang Solo thing, or we want the whole gang back? Yeah, I want the whole gang back. Getting the gang back together. <laughs> G-A-A-N-G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what were you saying, though? Seth Rogen's got it renewed for a second movie? Yeah, the Mutant Mayhem one. Okay, okay. One. It's getting a... I think it has a cartoon show. It might have already come out, but yeah. there's a cartoon show involved as well. That, that is true, Armored. They do have a blind girl playing Toph, I guess, to be more representative. But in my opinion, you're a voice actor... You don't have to do that, but whatever. Yeah. 
Let's there's a new there's a new scary movie coming out. Bro, people on Twitter were like, if this isn't the most offensive thing to ever <laughs> hit, I don't even want you to make it. What is it? What would a parody you think? I don't know, but they said I want it to offend everybody or it's not worth making. Maybe like a hereditary parody or something? That's true. It's going to have like a it's going to have like a bunch of stuff in it probably. They can make fun of the conjuring and cities. That's probably what it would be yeah. like conjuring or like the um the whatever and cities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are the two big ones I like feel the like. Blumhouse kind of yeah. things. Yeah. There'll probably be a five minutes at Freddy's. Uh, segment the bright heart or whatever it's called bright burn bright burn yeah good yeah um lots of horror stuff coming out lots of good like black phone was good oh I, did you watch black phone Mm-mm. bro why i heard it's it good if i you heard it was good watched it, dude. Did you watch it? yes i loved it <laughs> it's a horror movie though it was more thriller uh, so i'm with it okay it doesn't linger i hate movies that linger in my head afterwards you know what i mean <laughs> movies that are actually scary no 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 this was terrifying in a different way, <laughs> okay? I'm not a kid, so it doesn't scare me as much, you know? Sure, you sure, kidnapping sure. me with balloons, dude. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Scary movie, just let it die, I think. Scary? Oh. No, I'm cool with it. I wonder who's back. Do we? I don't... I've told you this before, but I'll tell the stream. I used to think as a kid, like, when a scary movie trailer would come out, I, like, plug my ears and hum so I wouldn't see or hear it, you know? And in my head, I was like, I just can't wait for them to run out of scary movie ideas, and then my life will be just easy, <laughs> you know? I'm pretty sure scary movies are, like, the most easy to make and, like, easy to produce. Yeah, but they're the most low effort sometimes, too. That's the, that's the point, yeah. You can um, crank out a ton of them. Like, that's all, that's Blumhouse's, like, whole model. Like, yeah. Like, a ton of small kind of crappy movies. Whatever. I don't um, know. I think, yeah. The, the I'm, I would like to see another scary movie. <laughs> I guess. I, it's been a while since we've had just a true comedy movie that does nothing but be comedy, you well, know? Well, Ricky Stanicki just came out. Yeah, but you said you didn't like it. I didn't. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Um, My buddy in X-Room liked it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll it. move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a new Star Trek. I feel Trek. like I'll like it, though, too, honestly. You probably would like it, yeah. There's a new Star Trek movie coming out, um, Star Trek Origins. So does it follow the stuff before, or is this completely new? I feel like I did hear it was a, um, it was a Chris Pine kind of thing. That's what because I know about two years ago we heard a bunch of stuff about how Chris Hemsworth wanted more money or he wasn't coming back. Chris Pines, both of them. Was Chris Hemsworth in this? Yeah, he was his dad. Oh. He dies in the first movie, but he shows up as a cameo in like all three of them at different points as like flashbacks and that stuff. That shouldn't be a re- reason to cancel your movie though, because a cameo character can't come back. They really wanted him. Chris Hemsworth? Yeah, That's I don't know why. But Chris Pine also wanted more money, and uh, they were like, we're not paying either of you more money. And so, like, the it's been shelved for a while because mm. of this. Interesting. So I'm excited to see if it is a continuation or a new thing. I think it's kind of long, too long now to do a continuation. You can still do it, I guess. They, yeah. they keep doing James Bond like that, like where it's like, okay, we're going to get a new James Bond, and the new one comes out. It's like, okay, now we'll get a new James Bond. It's like, oh, well, you know, we like this one. Eventually we'll get a new Honestly, one. I like the James Bond that's current. Yeah, he's good. Um, Universal had some footage from Wicked shown, and they also had some footage from No Sparato. I'm excited for that. That's Robert Eggers who did like The Witch and um, whatever else, Bo's Afraid or whatever. Wait, you think it's going to be scary? Yeah, it's Nosferatu. What are you talking about? No, he's not scary. He's funny. From Nosferatu? SpongeBob. Yeah, he's from SpongeBob. Nosferatu was the first ever like adaptation of Dracula. Yeah. But they couldn't use the rights, so they had to call him Nosferatu. Yeah. SpongeBob has led me to believe he's a very funny vampire. No, not not true. Is he scary? scary? Um, it's like German expressionism. It's not like the scariest thing, but it's it's a little un- unnerving. I'm sure audiences in 1910 or whenever that movie came out. I'm sure the people. I was gonna ask tense. you. I saw someone on Twitter. They were talking about Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula. Bram Stoker. Yeah, Dracula. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's like a wolf man getting it down with a girl. It's Dracula. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. He can turn into wolves. Why? He's just, he can transform. It. And then he just has sex with the girl? Yeah, it's sort of like symbolic or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, that movie's odd. It's is, good. Is it's it interesting. good? Do you like it? Uh, Gary Oldman's very phenomenal. Keanu Reeves is terrible. Uh, Keanu Reeves has this British voice he's doing. Here's, here's the thing. I don't want people to hate on me. I love Keanu Reeves. Have you seen him in Bram Stoker's? No, no, no. But this is what I'm going to tell. He's Bram a terrible Stoker. actor. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to say <laughs> that. Okay. He's just. He's, love him to death. He's a great guy. <laughs> He's good in he's good in John Wick because he doesn't say but five <laughs> words every movie. Okay, everything else he's in. Yeah, just keep him quiet, keep him doing action. <laughs> don't let him talk. I like him a lot in Bill and Ted. I think they use him really well in that. Well, because it's it's for, for comedy. Yeah. He's like being silly. Like that's but like the best when they put him, him in as Constantine, did not like that. Yeah, 
I uh, loved him in The Matrix, but okay, again, he says maybe ten words a movie, and he does a lot of action scenes. I think it's yeah, it's it's the action outweighs the, the yes. dialogue in this. And movie. he's a great guy. Don't don't no, hate yeah, me. I love, love him Keanu. to death, dude. He's. I think people know that. Yeah, he's just not a good actor. I think I think I think people are on board. So but. if you ever tell me, oh, he wasn't good in this, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's just he's doing this weird accent, but he's like a hot new actor at the time, so yeah. like, let's throw him in, you know. Yeah, uh, Winona Ryder's good. It's a good movie. Mm-hmm. It's just it's and some of the special effects are interesting. Like they use like shadow puppets to tell the story, like his backstory and stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. How old is this movie? It's like the nineties, I think. Oh, that's 90s. not too bad. I thought no, it was black and white. No, I'll check it out if I was you. I mean, you could watch it. Yeah, we could watch it. Okay, cool. Right you could do like a, a good like Dracula comparison movie yeah. series or something. Ooh, man, I'm just so excited for what we're going to talk about here in a second. When we're talking vampires. Nosferatu. No. But how? What is Nosferatu about? It's just Dracula. <laughs> okay, what's he doing? He's he's a dra- he's, a he's just killing people. He's a Dracula, yeah. He eats people. Man, we need more vampire stuff, dude. I'm telling you. Uh, I think oh, there's a new little movie coming out in April, April 19th. What? They kidnap this wealthy guy's like daughter. Oh, or whatever. about the ballerina thing. Yeah, and it turns out she's just a vampire. She's yeah, killing yeah, yeah. all the kidnappers. That's the uh, what's the Car- John Juan Carlo Esposito is in that. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, he's like the he's like feeding people to the little girls. He's Dude. the one like hiring them essentially. Oh, that's awesome. That movie that that movie. Speaking of trailers, we made a short about Ruby Gilman. Yeah, in a bad trailer. That movie gives away way too much in the trailer. Oh really? It's it gives you the whole plot. It's like yeah. like kidnap I'll, the girl. She's a vampire. Surprise, surprise. No, no, no. Here's it's they're they're um they're babysitting the girl. Oh, what it is and like they like a bunch of people are hired to like protect this girl. You know, but in reality, they're the food for her. Oh. Little, Valerina vampire, vampire lady. They need to have just been like, okay, there's something weird and creepy's going on. Where all these characters are in this house, mm-hmm. and then like people start dying. We don't need to say anything about the little girl being a vampire because that would have been the best plot, like pot twist yeah, of all time for sure. Why are we Why are we giving the away yeah. in the trailer? Honestly, nothing can really top Morbius when you come to vampires. You know, Morbius. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, had, <laughs> I had the Matrix on the brain. I thought you said Morpheus. Oh my god, dude. Morbius, yeah, Morbius um, is the best. I don't know why we didn't watch the the Voyage of the Dawn Treader, not that. That's Dem- Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> the, the, the Voyage, last voyage of, the of the Demeter. Yeah, the Demeter. I don't know. Vampire on a boat, Dracula on a boat. That sounds cool. No, right? that's good. Yeah. Why didn't we watch that? I don't know. This came out at a weird time, I guess. Yeah, probably. Uh, moving on to Lionsgate, uh, CinemaCon. Oh, I can't wait for stuff. that. Uh, Highlander. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was confirmed. It's directed by Chad Stalinsky, who did the John Wick movies, actually. Um, it's got Henry Cavill. Let's fucking go. And he went on record saying, like, he's like, you've seen me do some sword work before, but nothing like this. I'm so excited. Yeah. Dude. It'll be good. Yeah. We should watch the Highlander movies. At least yeah, one of them. Yeah, I was talking to the next one about it. He says number two is the best. What's your opinion? I've heard I've heard the first one's the only good one. Oh, really? That's, that's like the universal opinion. Hmm, interesting. Is How it, many are there? I think there's like five or six. There's or five or six of them? There's there's at least two or three, and then there's like a movie, like a uh, TV show. That sounds awful. I don't know. I'm, I could be talking about my butt again. But I want to watch him still. Who plays Highlander? I don't even know. Dude, come on now. I've, I've seen bits of the first one. I've not even seen the full thing. Really? I'm surprised yeah. by that. Every time I think Highlander, I think of uh, Mel Gibson, fucking <laughs> like William Wallace. Yeah, what's it? What's that movie called? Braveheart. Braveheart. I always get those two confused sometimes. Why? In my head. Because the Highlands are like the yeah yeah, yeah. from Scotland. Yeah. Let's see. So there's Highlander. Oh, this is the show. I'm done. There were six seasons of a show though. Was it a good show? Was it well received? I reckon. I, I typed in Highlander series, but I guess I need to type in Highlander movie series. Yeah. If it had six seasons, surely it was... Got to be good, right? Yeah, surely. I don't know. They've got like 28 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. That's very true. You got Highlander, Highlander 2, The Quickening, Highlander 3, The Sorcerer, Highlander Endgame, Highlander, The Search for Vengeance, Highlander, The Source, and then I guess just Highlander. Maybe a, maybe that's the one, that, the Henry Cavill one. Oh, yeah. So that's a couple. Yeah, it is a couple. Six overall with, without the new one. Okay. Speaking of Henry Cavill, he's coming out with a new movie this month. Is he? Yeah. I don't know. Gentlemanly Warfare. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Something. Something. Un- yeah. Yeah. It looks fun. It's looks got fun. Uh, Alan Richardson in it. I like big dudes doing big dude stuff. Yeah. It makes me feel both inadequate, but also very inspired at the same time. What is that? Sure. Look that up. What um, is the plot of that? Do we know? They are basically kind of like you would categorize them as like anti heroes. They do mm. like the dirty work, you know? And they're basically doing dirty jobs that aren't 
really seen as honorable during World War II, I believe. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yes, because they're doing things that probably the Geneva Convention would not really be happy with you doing. Yeah. But they're doing it because they have to. Cool. They feel like they have to. That's a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah. He did uh, Kingsman. I don't know. He didn't do Kingsman. Oh, Guy Ritchie sounds really familiar. He's a big, fam- big famous a big, a big, a big monster. <laughs> Uh, so stuff that was confirmed by Lionsgate, we can kind of go through them and then we'll, we'll circle back, but live action adaptation of the famous Naruto anime directed by... Wait, what? Destin... You Why did you is? not tell me this? We've said we did this on the podcast. My Nindo, my ninja way. Pew. I thought you were going to say something way different. <laughs> um, now, now You See Me 3, directed by <laughs> Ruben Fleischer, starring the original oh, cast. Oh, about new time. Generation that was in like, um, production... Hell, for a while, for a while yeah. apparently, like they wanted it out, and they were there was problems behind the scenes about things, is what I heard. I don't know what they were about. Though. I heard that too. Uh, Blair Witch getting a new remake, dumb from the Blumhouse people, dumb. Uh, Monopoly, <laughs> Monopoly movie getting produced by Margot Robbie and her Lucky Chat. I'm excited company. for that. I think that's cool. I now, like when you take off the wall shit and you make a movie about it. Barbie worked out for him. That's what I'm saying. Monopoly. I, are they both Hasbro? <laughs> is this the Hasbro universe? I think so. Are we seeing the Hasbro universe? I don't. What are we doing with Monopoly here? What is what is the plot to the Maybe Monopoly it's movie? Like a play on capitalism. Remember how in Barbie she's like, I don't control the railways and flow of commerce. Now she will. Now she will. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think she'll be in it. She we can make it short. Like, so that was a fucking lie. So that was a fucking lie. I like uh, I like the idea. I guess like, yeah. Monopoly is one of those things that everyone knows. Yeah. So it, ma- it makes makes sense. So was Barbie. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things that it's like a property that everyone knows, but like... And we love Margot Robbie. It's like an 80s idea. Remember in the 80s, everything used to get the movie, like Garbage Pail Kids, the movie. Uh, Fat Albert. The movie. Yeah. That was like 2000s, but you know. It's like 2002 or something. Yeah. Um, but it's just like blank, the movie. movie theaters. You did? Mm-hmm, drive through We didn't go to movie theaters. Those, that was f- for fancy people. That was for Fat Albert, Mom, the movie. Mom could load us up in a car and do like $7 for a car, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. It's called the Silver Moon Drive in. Why would you name it? It's probably out of business now. But um what about Naruto though? I love Naruto. I kinda wish it was a show. Like what like the Well it is a show if you'd like to go watch it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh Naruto movie though, I don't know. What, what <sighs> See, it's like what story arc are they following, you know what I mean? I'm assuming the first like the first big thing, whatever. What is the first big thing, really? Oh, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I guess the first series is really like a bunch of different art. I don't know. It's really tough thinking about. Like I'm looking at the different arcs in That's my what I'm head. Saying, do a show. Like do yeah, a one piece. The show probably would have been better. Because what are you putting? Because I'm I'm getting like we're gonna get Dragon Ball Evolution vibes here. Maybe not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully they've learned. Yeah. You know? Also, a new generation of kids running with their arms behind their back. You know, honestly, hit the, hit the hit the streets. <laughs> I'd still run with my arms behind my back. <laughs> I don't give you a You feel fuck. really cool doing it. You do. Like, it starts as a comedy thing, right? Yeah. Like, Des will tell me to go do something, so I'll go, you know, and then halfway through, I'm just like, man, I'm such a badass. Faster than Sonic the Hedgehog right yeah, now. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who is it? He's like one of the slowest speedsters, first of all. I don't know, man. He's got some feats. No, he doesn't. He can't even break. He can barely break the sound barrier. Yeah, that's good. Running around at the speed of sound. He's running. That, that implies that he's constantly running at that pace. Okay, anyone can do that. You're not special. Running around at the speed of sound? Any speedster can do that effortlessly. I don't know. I don't know. Yo-Yo couldn't do it. Yeah. You're Yo-Yo kind of sucks. fucking speedster, dude. <laughs> she is a speedster, but... I don't give a fuck. Kind of suck. Yeah. Oh, it's a good way to limit your powers. I don't know. Uh, why are you limiting your powers? So it's more interesting. It's not more interesting. It is for the Look reader. Look at Deku, dude. <laughs> Deku. Midoriya. Midoriya. Yeah. Or um, Invincible, he's got super Invincible? speed. He never does anything with the he speed. He never does speed. anything with super speed. Yeah. Omni Man, he'd be darting well, around. You, you see, like Mark, like like coming home at super speed. Yeah, he'll be like, "Oh, I meant to had lunch with my mom," and he like, <laughs> yeah. Instantly. He tells Amber, "Like I would go faster, but I don't want to peel the skin from your face." <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Nar- Naruto's whatever. We'll yeah. See what happens. Now yeah. you see me. I've never seen. Now you see me. I've ironically never seen any of them. Really, I've the heard, first one's really good. The second one's kind of yeah. weak. Um, there's some like stupid plot twists yeah the second one's got like uh, oh I was the bad guy just kidding I wasn't the bad guy just kidding even more this guy wasn't the bad guy like, I was a triple double with, cross yeah, exactly number two <laughs> definitely does that so uh, cause at, okay I'm just gonna tell you so at the end of number one right Mark Ruffalo is playing and then there's um, he's playing the guy who hates magicians right Yeah. and then Morton, Morgan, Morgan Freeman is like the guy who like debunks people mm-hmm. so it turns out Mark Ruffalo 
his father was someone that my father Morgan Freeman debunked, and because of that, his father went in the spiral and ended up dying. Oh. So he finds out he's like, no, I'm a good guy. Mark Ruffalo is, and he's part of the Super Society. And then Morgan Freeman gets put into jail. And the second one, they get Morgan Freeman out, and Morgan Freeman goes, "No, actually, me and your father did this together. I'm uh-huh. actually a good guy, and we were de- we were testing you to make sure you could join this even more exclusive group." And I'm just like, "What?" Yeah, I remember hearing about that movie. Like, people, like somebody was telling me about it. I'm like, "That sounds like the dumbest piece of crap." <laughs> I don't know. It's just like magic. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Sometimes we'll have dead chats, Armin. It's no biggie. You can just keep talking to us. Yeah. If you're the only one in there, bro, we'll talk to you. People, sometimes people watch these after the fact, anyway. Yeah, so. Dez is usually in the chat too, but like I said, she's going out and uh, she's at a concert, so you know. But we appreciate you hanging. And in it's there. getting sunny out. People want to go outside. We're we're still testing different times to do the live stream and stuff. Yeah. We're moving studios. This will actually be the last time you see us in this <laughs> area. I like to say studios, like we're fancy. It's someone's house. We're yeah, moving we're someone's moving from house. one house to a different house, but um, so we'll have a new place to be next Saturday. Mm. But um, regardless, you know, we we knew these were kind of streams aren't exactly the best for us right now. Just I think of streaming, how small. In, yeah, streaming in general is always weird. But yeah, you got to get the following. But you know, we're here. You would think with more subscribers, though, they would get more. Yeah, the general stream viewers thing is the more followers you have, the more streamers you. What can if get. we uh, share this to like the YouTube page or whatever? Yeah, we can. I thought we did, like a community post. Yeah. Oh, I thought you made community posts for these. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we're not marketing ourselves. I did it in every other social media platform, though. I send the link out to everyone I know. I do that. I'm a very popular person. You I are. know a lot of people. Um, yeah, but you should watch Now You See Me. Is that a, is that a movie series we're going to do? Yeah, there's only two of them. We could wait until the third one comes out, but that'll be a while, you know? Yeah. Um, but what are we at next? This is Zack Snyder stuff. Oh, Zack Snyder stuff? Okay. I'll wait for you to do. Oh, look at that! Very nice. It's not showing up. I mean, we don't have to. It's, we're already an hour in. Well, yeah, but I'd like I'd like people to come say hey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have people saying hey. Say hey. Say ho. Let me look at something real quick. That's pretty much all we had from CinemaCon, though. Yeah, and that's the thing is, what's annoying is that we could have had more if they would show trailers. Well, we got you know we got one or two trailers. We got uh, the Joker. <laughs> yeah, about all we did get. Honestly, I love how I put out that tweet. Uh, Armin, if you haven't seen it, we put out a short about how Rotten Tomatoes doesn't really get the message sometimes. And then the latest two comments I see on here are Rotten Tomatoes sucks, Rotten Tomatoes has no integrity. <laughs> <laughs> but people just hate on it. I love how it's like owned by Warner Brothers or whatever. Like, yeah, it seems like that would like it's like a big movie company should yeah. be able to own like a movie criticism. That's site. the thing is. It, Everyone I talk to hates on Rotten Tomatoes. Why are they still the golden standard that people go to to be like, oh, Rotten it's just Tomatoes the most gave consistent. It a, yeah, I guess. Like even I hate it, but I'm like, see, Rotten Tomatoes likes it. I know. Uh, there's a, there was a Twitter post going around. It's like, it was like all the levels of things. It was like when the when it gets good reviews and good audience things, and it's like some guy being really happy, and it's, yeah. it's just like the whole lineage of like, yeah, see, the critics love this. It's a good movie, or the critics hated this, so they're wrong. What do they know? It's yeah, just like you use, you know, you have yeah, like yeah, yeah. arguments. For like everything. I hate Rotten Tomatoes, but sometimes it's, people don't take me seriously, so they have to take Rotten Tomatoes seriously. You know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Well, also too, Rotten Tomatoes is just a com- like a compilation of all the different critics. Yeah. So it's just the critics' general perspective on what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like Rotten Tomatoes is a one person. Though. No, I like to think it is so that I can hate on it. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. The guy, he's sitting in his basement. I'm going to punch him in the face. It's like Man of Action. In Minecraft. <laughs> come, come, come check us out. Come check us out. On, on live. Oh, is that still a thing, Armored? His, he said his, my Twitter account is rate limited. I can only look at 30 posts a day. I don't know why. I remember they said that, uh, what's his name, was going to implement that. Musk. Yeah, but I don't know that that he may just this may be a joke. It's hard to convey jokes over text, though. You know what I mean? Maybe. Um, we are live right now. How about that? Yeah, just post it, bro. Post it. Oh, we used to do it because you made thumbnails, right? Remember, we made community posts. Yeah, I mean, I still do thumbnails, but I'm moving, so it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was hard. a, t- it was a yeah. tough week. Honestly, I should have thought about it. I should have just made the post myself. But when you do it so much, it's hard to remember for me to do it, you know? I don't know. I'm sorry, Hopper. I have failed you. You did. Um, oh, okay, Snyder, cool. <laughs> speaking of failing people, Zack Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. No, buddy. we hate Zack Oh, okay, yeah. You can mess with me. I'm just I mess hate Zack Snyder, dude. We, it's just so frustrating, and I get it, right? I understand movies, movie companies yes. like to uh, you know, li- limit what people can film. 
they like to uh, you know once you've already filmed the thing, they'll they'll, they'll screen it to the people and be like, this is not marketable enough for our company. We're going to yeah. change a bunch of stuff. Uh, after the director's already made a bunch of stuff, like Josh Trank in the Fantastic Four. Like, um, oh, did they? Yeah, the guy who did Suicide Squad. Uh, forget what the, David Ayer. I believe that. Yeah, it I looks believe that. it looks terrible. You can definitely tell it yeah. was recut up and yeah. stuff. Uh, lots of these movies, uh, you know, didn't get the fair treatment because the studio stepped in. That's yes. a lot. It happens a lot, and those yes. two things were superhero things. Um, yes. Zack Snyder, for whatever reason, all of his movies. Well, no, no, no. For for just to wind the clock back here, it's like he made all these movies, and then he made the Justice League, and then for some reason, it's like, okay, we're gonna help, we're gonna help you out, we're gonna put Justice League Zack Snyder cut on HBO, HBO, and it cost him a lot of money to do that. It too. did. It and wasn't th- just a nice guy thing. I don't know if it was like it, it did well, or if it got like good, you know, good like traction for Max or whatever. Yeah. But um, ever since then, bro, he's on he's on Netflix now. He's doing that Star Wars rip- ripoff. And he's like, and it's bad. Yeah, it's very bad. And he's like, oh yeah, it's only bad because they didn't let me do the full thing. It's on Netflix. Just make it a show. Yeah. What are you doing? And Zach it's also Snyder? like you're Zach fucking Snyder, and you're telling me that everybody you've worked with has limited your creative ability. to What do is something. Netflix saying? You cannot do this. Yeah, for? Netflix wants every win they can. Netflix will put out like a three hour movie. They don't care. They really don't. Just do it. Yeah. And so, like, just I find it hard to believe that they're limiting what you can put out. I find it hard to believe that everyone he's worked with is also limiting him. Now, here's the next thing, right? Is this a marketing tactic? Because with be. Rebel Moon, like, the whole thing with Zack Snyder is that if release it is, the it's Snyder a terrible cut. one. I, really. Because it's so repetitive and bad at this It's point. like, release the Snyder Cut, release the Snyder Cut. So that's what people know, right? Yeah. So when Netflix is like, okay, we're going to release Rebel Moon, and then we'll release Rebel Moon, the Snyder Cut. Yeah. Because that's what people know. Yeah. I think that might be what it well, is. Well, the thing is, here's here's how you profit off of that, right? Make the original good, okay? People yeah. love it. And then you say, oh, well, you guys may love it, but honestly, they cu- limited me a lot. There's actually a lot more. And they go, release it. This was yeah. such a banger. I want more content like but this. But that's the thing. Like, like if, it's, if the good version is supposed to be like the later version, then you just whatever. You know, you can't make a good first version. It's, honestly, and I know we've been building up to this, he's just bad at making movies. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Make a show. Has Zack Snyder ever thought about making a television show? Instead, right. So we say all this because... Yes. Recently, he, he was uh, being interviewed by The Empire. Or yes. Empire, rather. Yeah. Uh, he said they were asking him like, "What other movies would you want to like, you know, fix or go back and get a Snyder cut?" And he said, yeah. "The only movie I would change is Sucker Punch because it never really got finished correctly. Even the director's cut is not really the correct cut; it's just an extended version. If I had the chance, I would fix that movie." Yeah, he literally says, "There's uh, there's more to it, but it got cut." I'm glad he at least acknowledges that his movies are bad. I want you to know everyone hates <laughs> that movie. Too. That's a bad movie. It came out on Netflix at one point, and I watched bits of it. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know it was supposed to be like, oh, she's imagining this. Yeah, or yeah, all yeah. that. I was so confused watching half of this movie. It's um, I, I, it's I've said this before, but it's like a trailer movie. Like it was yes. made to only sell the trailer. Yeah, it's got all these cool action scenes, but like they don't matter. Also, I was like ten years old, so I was like, these are some hot women on yeah, the screen yeah, right now. True. You know what I mean? That's that's part of it. You know. So, but then I tried actually watching the movie. And I was like, I don't understand what's going on. Is the whole <laughs> <laughs> movie just hot women it kind of it's kind of what it is well when it switches back i'm like wait what's going on now you know what i mean yeah so that um, was uh annoying oh do we have more stuff here yeah oh cool so Haley stonfield oh wait that was all just for cinemacon that was cinemacon that's and, sick i mean zach snyder stuff that's too, a lot of stuff uh Haley stonfield has been cast in ryan coogler's vampire movie it was still unnamed unfortunately we're both thinking it's gonna be KKK versus vampires. I don't know. Unfortunately, I kind of want to see the KKK get torn up. By yeah, but we're thinking that she's going to be like a leader of the KKK. It could be. Yeah. And I love Haley Steinfeld, <laughs> and I don't want her to be a KKK <laughs> member because she is phenomenal. Have you seen uh, Malik Moore or whatever? What was his name? The guy who- Shamik. To make m- yeah, more. they were like, no. He's like, he's like, please let me in this movie. He's like, I need to be in this movie. <laughs> yeah, Haley Steinfeld Every, there because he's like, I don't know. They, they they've insinuated that before. Like, oh, yeah. did you feel anything for Haley while you were doing Spider Verse? And he's like, well, you know, she's very pretty. And whatever. which I think they were trying to capitalize on like the the thing that is every, every Spider Man and, yeah. and love interest end up dating in real life, and they were trying to generate some buzz with that. But yeah, it it's was, probably uh, different since they were in a voice recording kind of thing. If I was, you know, if I was him, if I had any chance. I would to be, be like, making my move on. Yeah, dude, Steinfeld you all got day. it. Respectfully, <laughs> <You> <laughs> respectfully, I mean? respectfully. Uh, anyway, I love her. I just love. I just love him like calling his agent as soon as he reads that. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I gotta get this. The thing is, I probably would have no shot with her because apparently she's super tall. She's oh, like she? she's like an inch taller. I think she's like five ten. Good for her. So she doesn't get the same height of me or like five eleven an inch taller. Good for her. Not good for her. Like there was, there was definitely a chance before that, you know, and now there's no chance. There was definitely a chance. You're right. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> uh, did you? <laughs> did you watch anything from Smiley Friends? Have you ever seen that? 
Uh, not Seinfeld. Steinfield. Steinfield? Yeah, isn't that her last name? I don't know. Haley Steinfield? I think so. Yeah. Well, uh, it sounded like you said Seinfeld. Oh, my fault. Um, lore breaking immersion loss. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were you saying, though? Did I watch what? Have you seen Smiling Friends? They had a I haven't watched it yet, but you have mentioned it before. Season two of the trailer. He, like, gut punches the crazy guy. Yeah. He goes, dude, I told you. Told you I was gonna do that. It's funny you keep bringing that part up specifically because there's there's so many moments like that in the show. I feel like you would love because there was a spot in my childhood where one of my friends punched me in the gut, and I was so shocked that he did it. And it was so rude to punch someone in the gut, in yeah. my opinion, because yeah, 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 I yeah. literally felt like a, you you can't breathe. You know what I mean? So you're like <laughs> for thirty <laughs> seconds, you're literally the you look bit. like an idiot because <laughs> you're trying to breathe. You know what I mean? I won't show the whole trailer because I think we'll get copy. There's, there's copyrighted music here too, but this, oh, okay, this okay. one little bit makes me laugh really hard. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Can I hear it? My little mic over there. It should be. I'm just not interested in getting involved in politics, okay? Sorry. Hey, boys. Guess who just got a call to make the president smile? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Why does that guy look like Joe Biden, though, too? The boss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. Anyway, that little bit was... Oh! <laughs> When you nutted, but she keeps sucking. Very funny. Very topical use of that uh, meme as well. That was a good one. That was a good one, yeah. You don't think so. <laughs> Why meme. am I never funny for you? It's just one of those like, 20, 2012 memes or whatever. I'm sorry. That's my childhood. <laughs> 20, when she sucks the nut and keeps sucking? What? She sucks the nut and keeps sucking? You can't even say it correctly, dummy. <laughs> that's my childhood right there. Well, how old was I in 2012? Uh, you were four years old. I was 12. No, 14. <laughs> Right? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Crow has been delayed to August I 23rd. I saw that. That's not a big delay, though, is it? I don't think so. I think they also removed their they moved their Saw, Saw movie, too. Good. Honestly, I'm so tired of Saw movies. Yeah. I feel like they should either re, like like twist it a different way or yeah. go a different route somehow. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they keep being like, oh, this actually happened in between the f- movie where he was alive and where he died. Did Saul die in the movie? Saul, Saul died. Yeah, the main guy, he died in it. Like, spoiler for Saul franchise. He died in like <laughs> the sixth one or something, like sixth or seventh. Really? And they're on like 11. Like, they keep doing like prequels where it's like, oh, yeah. he, in between this movie and this movie. The he, spiral one with uh, yeah, yeah. the guy who got bitch slapped. <laughs> yeah, what? What's his name? Uh Oh. Um, Marty from Madagascar. What is his name? I can't remember. What is this? Chris Rock. Chris Rock. I like how that he's him getting him getting slapped is how you recognize him. No, I knew him before that. I, just I know. Think I'm just name. saying it's funny. I man. was hoping me saying that you'd be like, "Don't say that about Chris Rock." But I don't know. That actually made me forget who he was. was oh, so, bad. <laughs> such a bad reference. I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> you know me. Bad references. Um. So yeah, the crow. It's whatever. Uh, yeah. It looks okay. It looks fun though. Yeah, it looks I'm fun. more excited for. No straw too. No. Boy meets world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy kills world. Oh, he's in a lot like of stuff, huh? Yeah, wow, he's cool. For him. Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. Um, we can move on to Echo and the Echo <laughs> update. How do you pronounce her name? Alakwa. I think Alakwa. Yeah. We'll say Alakwa Cox says she would love to fight Green Goblin in Echo season two. Well, I, so all... here's, I want them to fight in episode one. He kills her, and then the, the series is over. It's a Goblin show now. Yeah. Or no, the show's just gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's I actually, not a I show. want him to go back and erase her from the timeline. Can he do that instead? <laughs> He's multiversal now. That I guess. show sucked ass. That was pretty bad. I so kind of want to do. Her saying that, I was like, know your level, okay? <laughs> You're not at that level. Well, it is funny, You're, though. You think you can fight Willem Dafoe? It is Are funny you kidding because, me? Because, right like, in comics, it'll just be like a random character shows up in a random yeah. place, you know? It'll Like, the Silver Surfer shows up in Planet Hulk just randomly. It's I like, wonder. I, I want her to be the meme from Donkey Kong, where the monkey's in front of the other one, rah, 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 and he just punches her. Donkey Kong? Or uh, King Kong, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You kept giving me like this blank stare, and I was like, I, was like, from I know Kong? you know what I'm talking about. Or I broke Willem your Defoe pen a little bit. Thanks, but Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be breaking stuff for You don't put it in your pocket like that, I do you? No, you don't. I've got little, for work, I've got little thingies, little pockets. I'll bring you some more pins. i got a bunch at work. I don't want your pins. I this want is that a terrible pin. one. It's green. I like green. It's I'll my favorite you, color. I'll bring you a blue pin. It's not as good not as green. <laughs> I just love you. You're like, oh, oh, dude, dude, I want that pin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, 
I don't know. She's street level, though. You know, Green Goblin's Yeah, street Green level. Goblin is not street level. He's an Avengers he level threat. No, come on. He's a goofy little gremlin who I'm throws bombs. I'm a goober. <laughs> he just throws little... He, his whole... Like, the whole reason he's a good villain is because he fucks with Spider-Man specifically. Like, that's why... He'll kill his girlfriend Bro, that because, line, though, goes so hard. I'm the Green Goblin. <laughs> no. Strong, yeah. enough, strong enough to have everything you want. Too weak to take it. <laughs> Suplexes through the floor, dude. <laughs> That movie goes hard for real. It does. <laughs> it does. Um, no, I don't know, man. I, I don't think there's... Toby McGuire... Oh, hi there. Oh, Sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't mean there. to come here, but there's just this portal. Oh, hi. Like, what is that entrance? You know what it's I mean? It's pretty good. It's phenomenal. It was very, like, underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got Andrew Garfield takes his mask he off. Sprints and he's in like, there. He's like... Oh, you know? And then he just... Oh, there's a portal, so I just kind of let myself in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my shoes off if you want. Where do you want them? <laughs> um, what about, so, yeah, I don't, uh, Echo doesn't need a season two, by the way. Echo didn't need a season one. Yeah. It didn't fair. need to exist. I don't know. People people were, like, into it the first week it came out, though. Who? Pe- the people on Twitter were, like, into it. They were are like, they oh, dumb? This is a good show now. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. It had good aspects to it. Like I could super glue it back if you really wanted. I don't really care. I was just. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny that you broke it. I felt bad because it sounded like you were genuinely <laughs> upset. I was like, I, when I realized what pen it was, I was like, oh, I like see, that pen. here's the thing. I like to annoy you, but then when I actually get to annoy you, I feel so bad. You it's know like what I mean? When I accidentally hurt you for real. Yeah, because it's like Humper never gets annoyed, so I can do it all I want, and then you get annoyed. I'm like, damn it, <laughs> fuck, man. I, we used to in high school. I would just be. I don't know why I'd just be physical with people. And, <laughs> I wanted to be physical. Not Steven sexually. would come up on me and he would be like, <laughs> Yeah, and then you would punch me. And I'd like, give him one good punch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, uh, I like that. Oh, thing. hey, Invincible 3, season 3 might be closer than we think. Why do you say that? Because. Hit me with it. Um, here's all the stuff we know about it, right? Oh, uh, did you do this? No, this is from the Twitter account. Oh, I was going to be really proud of you. <laughs> Invincible season three. <laughs> uh, should be sooner than season two, like as far as like time was. Well, time you know, was. that's not a big bar. Voice acting is already complete. Okay. Uh, the Why is it so small? Because it's that's like what Star she Wars. Said. You know what I mean? <laughs> <I'm> so uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> made yourself like instantly cackle. <laughs> Robert Kirkman said, or I'm sorry, showrunner. Simon Rackapoka. Rackle Fraggle. Do we know him? I don't. Rachopa. I don't know. That's his name. It's really small. Rachopa. Rachapa. Got that Rachapa singing. Okay, hold on. Armor Nine says people on Twitter would be excited for a thirty-minute episode of bread toasting if the casting (laughs) was right. (laughs) Chris Pratt and I was gonna. Don't say it. I was gonna say it was gonna be narrated by Chris Pratt and (laughs) Aquafina. And oh. now, the, now you can see the bread is uh, <laughs> that's the bread Danny is dead turning brown. That's Danny DeVito. The bread is brown now. <laughs> so that's how she sounds to me, at least. <laughs> it's just Danny DeVito. You know, she's not that bad of an actress, honestly. She's not. I don't get why you hate her so. I don't much. like her voice. I don't like that she's in. Her, she Armor plays Nine a Nine seagull. And <laughs> she does what? Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh, does she? Yeah. That's so stupid. She has a whole rap song. Thing. Oh, I've heard that. You showed it to me. I remember the song in the swamp? <laughs> I swamp. Um, so anyway. Yeah, so guy. apparently they are deep into season three. Um, Battle Beast and Titan are returning, and Invincible will also be in it. How'd you, you know about that? Who's Titan? He's the, the Brock guy who's like the new bo- the crime boss guy. Oh, yeah. So Battle Beast is actually pretty cool. I've been looking him up. Battle Beast is like one Look of the bo- he's like one more. of the main like yeah, he's like the third most powerful one in the <laughs> universe. <laughs> Why was he on Earth like with Gearhead? Because he was promised worthy opponents. That's the only thing he's motivated by. <laughs> he like destroys everybody right yeah, away. Yeah, so he's like, this is not actually what I was promised. How did, so he how did Gearhead get to him? He's like a cosmic entity. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I love him. Yeah, that'd be fun. that'd be a good short. Like, why was Battle Beast here? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Go for it. I'm 100 percent in support of it. <laughs> He's just a huge monster. He's just a massive Dude, like, he's creature. a beast. What is he doing here? I don't know. I love him, though. Yeah. He's good. He's good. Um, That's about all I got. I'm sure even yeah. even the Guardians will be back, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. It just says Invincible Maybe we'll get we'll some story it. on Bulletproof for once. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Two seasons later, you know? <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I like in the comics. I've been reading a lot of Invincible comics. Yeah, because we've been told we haven't read the comics. Yeah. So, I guess, spoiler alert for the even comics. Even though we have read the comics. Um, we got some people yelling at us about... In our latest recap of Invincible, that we didn't give him enough time, so spoiler for the comics Invincibles. Sorry about that. I, yeah, I, we're sorry. We do try to give you guys spoilers, so if if we don't do a good job, that is genuinely because I, I hate being spoiled. I hate it every day. Listen, so. at the same time, though, the comic came out like 
years ago, decades true. ago. That like, is true. What are you doing? Loser? You know, I'm, I'm, you know, so. Are we insulting our, our viewers now? Maybe. It's I'm kinda, all for it. I didn't read it either, so I'm, 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 I'm that, real hateful. Now that I'm like in the boat who people who've read it, I'm like, yeah, y'all, <laughs> y'all are stupid. <laughs> you don't even know. Um, the world's not ready for Anissa. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to her actually. I've only gotten to um, Thraxa, so yeah, yeah. All the all the way up until Mark meets his dad back again at Thraxa, mm-hmm. which is in the show. So. so you've been enjoying the comics, though, dude. I think it's better than the show. I was saying it's that earlier. So good. I uh, think... When I went to my Yu-Gi-Oh um, regional, I read like the entire first omnibus nice. that night. Wait, I should, the whole I night. I should have been practicing test hands for the ah. next day, but I didn't. I just invincible, bro. Yeah, invincible's life, bro. Yeah, it's really good. I um, I I, I yeah, I don't know. It's not as annoying as the show. Like, like there's not all, like the Amber and William stuff in it. And yeah. William in it is more like he's more palatable. I feel. Yeah, because he's not doing anything. He's just no William in the show is just like an immature a- or in the in the comic is just like an immature a hole. Yeah. And like that doesn't come across in the he show. He dates Adam Eve. Yeah, yeah, he dates Adam Eve, and like she's that's like the that's like the breaking point for her because he's like he's like are you sleeping over you 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 do stuff and she's like no we're breaking up I don't, I don't like yeah this. she literally <laughs> just goes, up with him. we're breaking up. <laughs> yeah. And then that's what kind of prompts her to be like, I'm not doing anything with my life. I'm dating crappy yeah. guys. I'm just doing the Guardians yeah. thing. And, but she also realizes maybe the whole reason she was dating uh, Will, William, because mm. he hates being called Will. Yeah, William. Was because she just always wanted to be near Invincible, and that was a good reason. Yeah, you know? that's true. Oh, wait, I think, you haven't got to that part yet. No, well, that's because, I mean, they um, Mark's missing because he's like in, he's healing or whatever. Yeah. And she goes and checks with William about it, and yeah. that's you know that's the whole thing where he's like, oh, I guess we could maybe get food later, you know? Yeah. Whatever. So it's like that's the whole reason they were talking in the first place yeah. because of Mark. So. It was the only thing they had in common. I know. And she, he liked her. How did William around. bag someone like Eve? You know what I'm saying? It dude? must have just been an opportunity thing. It's got the right be. place, right time kind of deal. Damn. Um. Yeah. No, I like the con- the uh, Samson. There was Black Samson. He's like a, a whole different character in the comics. Yeah. Comments. Yeah. The Butler was doing some crazy. The Butler shit. was like invading the the yeah. Guardians of the Globe's like cemetery. Yeah. Or the dude. funeral. Yeah. I love that the Mahler twins just show up to figure out where um, the immortal was buried. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're not starting any trouble. We just want to yeah. just pay respects. <laughs> Oh man! I like that they don't kill them all. Like it feels like everyone just gets more time in the comics. Yeah, like, so you, you get got, more time. You didn't. You haven't gotten to the Lizard League. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. But I know, like, in there, I think someone like there's another like a nihilist or something. There's another big threat like while Mark's in space, right? Yeah, and it, it goes in. The, it's it's funny though. They're mentioned in the show. It's it's like a second, it's like a half a yeah, second. Yeah, but like in the thing, it's like a whole big fight, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, they just mentioned it for like two seconds. Yeah. Maybe we'll get. Oh, that'd be a fun special, like a nice little like Guardians fighting this big crazy monster. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm with. I want any invincible content I can get. Yeah. I need to go home. I've got the second omnibus. I just haven't cracked it open mm-hmm. and gone into it. You know. Dug into it. Dug into. It. Some some people on Twitter were saying when we got that last episode with uh, they were showing all the different evil marks. The one with like the vest and stuff. They were like a CW's. <laughs> <laughs> Very like low budget looking. Yeah, outfit, like yeah. Smallville looking ass. You know. <laughs> Man, I love that show. And the comic is so good. The like, comic is so good. It makes sense that the show is so good because it's got like such a good foundation. Yeah, and he's and he's material. worked on it since then. You know, he's, yeah, he's yeah, talked yeah. about it, you know. So it it's is so it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good soup. Good. It's good soup. Uh, I'll keep reading it. We'll we'll keep uh, we'll finish yeah. it before the season three comes out so we can talk more in depth about it. Mm-hmm. So what did you watch this week? Ricky Stanicky. Oh, you watched it this week? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Sunday. I usually go to my mom's house and we watch stuff. Oh, that's nice. Don't watch this with your mom. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. That that probably makes sense. <laughs> she was asleep for most of it. She Oh, she there did. was that one thing you told me. <laughs> just just like, you know, mainly uh John Cena's character spoiler alert for Ricky Stanicky just yep. came out. Uh, it's on Amazon, so you can go watch it right now. Um, mm-hmm. This is definitely an Amazon original thing, though. It's yeah. not like you would put this in theaters. It just wouldn't make any money. Was it Armor 99? I still can't believe they made Fortnite canon and Invincible. You know, oh like, yeah, it's, Fortnite is a cultural phenomenon that will probably be studied in fifty years. Honestly, I think I saw somewhere that Fortnite claims that the, every uh, every season, whatever uh, crossover, is like canon to this. The yeah, story. yeah, like everything that they have, like all the skins and stuff. Yeah, they they exist in every universe you can think of. So technically, it's all canon anyway. So yeah. It's weird though, right? Yeah, like that's yeah. that doesn't seem like it should be real. No, but it's funny that it is. <laughs> like Spider Man and Batman have canonically met because of Fortnite. You yeah, know what I mean? I'm telling you, dude. The go play Fortnite once, your mind will melt from what you're, <laughs> what it's trying to understand from this like game. Like all the little dances they're doing. Right now like, they've got Airbend or 
I saw element, the yeah. bending and stuff. You we, know didn't, I mean? we didn't mention we we talked about Korra in Fortnite one time, but yeah. we haven't really because you know Fortnite's Fortnite. No, it's, gonna, it's just yeah. its own other beast. It's, like it's, it's a monster. It's dude. a lot to talk about, yeah. but they have all the air, Airbender characters, all the last Airbender mm-hmm. characters. They have all the mythics like the Airbending yeah. and Firebending and yeah, it's like a power, it's like the Deku Smash. And yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the newest power. Very, oh, there's an invincible uh, map there too. They have oh, like a really? sequ- Sequids themed map or something. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Sequids are creep- creepy. Creepy. Yes, creepy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you get a creepy Ricky Stanicki. It's um, creepy? It's just a weird concept for the movie. Like, I don't know who wrote it, but yeah. it's like, it's these three kids and they like, you know, they uh, they tell lies because they don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, because they want to use their, yeah, they're using. They blame this, this guy named Ricky. Yeah. And they're like, what's the last name? It's like, uh, Stan, Stan Hope. And he's like, that's my last name. Oh, no. And he had already written out STA. So he's yeah. like, Stanicki. Yeah, know. there you go. And um, it works. Yeah, I guess. Believable. And then uh, what's his uh, Andrew Santino or whatever his name mm-hmm. is? He's like his his wife's pregnant, but they're at like, the baby shower, and they're trying to like go to like Atlantic City just like last second because yeah. someone gives them tickets. So they're like, oh, Ricky's got a cancer treatment, so they go to yeah. Atlantic City instead. And um, they find John Cena there, and he's like an actor, washed up kind of. He's like he's stu- he's like an actor, he's an actual actor, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. like he's he's on stage as. Uh, rock hard rod or something. Yeah, some weird porn thing. Well, it's he's he's got. Is this a sex thing? He's got like masturbation themed covers of songs. Okay. So instead of like whip it real good, it's wank it real good. Or, I like that. And it, it, I'd listen to it. <laughs> it's a it's a white it's a nice day for a white wedding. It's like it's a nice day for a masturbation. Or, I was gonna know. say honestly, a nice day for a white wedding. That is pretty sexual enough already. Yeah. Yeah. Um. He's, there's like a Alice Cooper one where he's like, hands on my penis. Let's go. It's it's clever. It went on, the scene went on a little too long for yeah. all the masturbation. Like, we there. get it. We get it. Go, go on. One or two songs would have been good. There was yeah. like four or five songs That's there. Awesome. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah. John Cena does really good in it, actually. Uh, he's a great actor. I, I really think, think he's very he funny, too. Like, he's yes. got a very funny bone in his body. Like, he's good for comedy. Yeah. It for also sure. helps that he's so juiced. Yeah. That you don't think someone like that should be as funny as they are. Well, and he's like, uh, he's like an alcoholic in the movie. So like, how come you're so ripped? And he's like, oh, I take a lot of steroids. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's on the roids for real? Nah, I mean maybe I don't know. Maybe if you, it's, that's the thing is like when you're a professional athlete like that and you have to like, and it's all about the looks anyway because yeah. it's wrestling. Because it was wrestling, and you know steroids are only bad in the sense that it's like not fair. You know. Oh, you mean like for competitions? Yeah. And stuff? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's no I could deal. do steroids if I wanted. It's. I still think there's a stigma around it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, he he essentially becomes Ricky Stanicki, and he kind of like yeah. takes over these people's like lives. Like he he gets hired at their at their job, and mm-hmm. he becomes like really integral to their life. It just isn't like they try to be like an emotional thing. Like mm-hmm. Zac Efron has this whole like thing about not wanting to have kids, and then you know he's like lying to his wife about this whole stuff. So then once they finally figure Was out, Was Zac that, Efron the gay one? No, it's the it's the third guy. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay, I got you. Um. But he's like, you know, his 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 wife is like a reporter, so she's obviously figured out that Ricky Stenicky's not real. She's kind of messing with him, and oh, really? But she's like messing with him in a bad way. Like you've been lying to me for years, so now I'm like, yeah. you know, I'm gonna out you on in front of your boss and all oh, that stuff. Oh, don't do that. Uh, That's well, not a healthy relationship. No, the whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's it's a weird movie. Well, I guess it's not a healthy relationship. If you're lying. Most of us. The whole thing is, yeah, it's like I don't like these characters. That's like grounds for divorce, kind of thing. I don't like the, right? I don't like the characters. They're they're all dickheads. Like they're all yeah. like they're all lying and just cheating or whatever. Like not cheating. They don't cheat. But they don't cheat. They're liars for sure. Liars, um, which is a form of cheating. Yeah, you could say you're cheating the truth or whatever. You there know. you go. Anyway, Ricky Stenicky is whatever. It's, yeah, it's like a hangover minus two. You know? Yeah, a hangover without fucking Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like there was no like. I mean, like the Zach Galifianakis character would have been like the John Cena character. You know. Yeah. Like the goofy kind of out there crazy goofy one. Goofy goober, if you will. You you should yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, John Cena he circumcises Andrew Santino's kid. No way. Because they they tell lies that like he like uh, Ricky stanicki has been all over the world. He's yeah. like he's helps like in Africa and well all stuff. renowned world traveler. And he's like, oh yeah, he helped circumcise people in Africa. And so like, oh, and um, they like they accidentally drug the the rabbi who's supposed to do like the circumcision. Yeah. And so it's a whole thing. They drug him, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's another thing. They, they they drug a man like on accident. Anyway. Yeah. Um, horrible characters. <laughs> But and then like the emotions don't mix from yeah, like yeah, yeah. him. But uh, they're like, oh, Ricky, you've done circumcisions, and he's like, 
oh, it's John, John Cena. Because they're finally calling him out, right? Because he's been <laughs> yeah. benefiting from the stories, and now yeah, yeah. he's got to not benefit. Well, no, it's just like we need to we need to see who this man is because they yeah. always talk about Ricky, and it's like, oh, he's off. He's do, he's in a different country. Yeah. You know, he can't come. It's like, oh, he didn't come to any of our weddings. Like, what the heck? He's like, such a good – like, you'll go right. to his cancer treatments, but he can't come to our weddings. <laughs> You're right. So they finally just decide, like, okay, we're going to get John Cena to come do this. Yeah. And John Cena has to essentially be that character. Mm-hmm. And they have this whole big book of stuff that they've made Ricky do. And so Ricky, he's, he's like studied it all and he knows in depth about like everything. And he's, this sounds like a fun movie. What are you hating? It just doesn't f- stick the landing. And like it's, it's not a good funny. concept, but just doesn't. It's a good concept. I don't like the characters because they're all dickheads and they lie. It's not like something funny. It's like they're, it's not like they're relatable or fun characters. It's just yeah. like. Like, no one should be lying this much to their family. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's true. And it's a comedy, so you're supposed to kind of put that out of your yeah, head. Yeah, you're not supposed to think about it that It just hard. doesn't land for me because like, the jokes aren't funny. Yeah, I was going to say, because meet the Fockers. You wouldn't marry a lady whose dad is that psychotic. You know what I mean? But he loved Pam. I don't know. In that situation, we've all had the, the in-law who's weird and, and no. hard to be around. You just divorce or you don't get married. <laughs> you just divorce them. It's a big thing. If, you're, if your in-law sucks, don't get with them. You know? Yeah. You know. That's my hot take. Anyway, uh, Ricky Snicky, six out of ten. We give a lot of sixes on this channel. You know, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's you know, it's watchable. It's just kind it's of watchable. Um, it's like they they, they so just kind six of six is watchable. Yeah, I six like is that. watchable. Well, I like it's that. it's like uh, they try to force a lot of stuff with Zac Efron, like not wanting a kid, and his dad like was abusive or whatever. Mm. It just doesn't land. It doesn't land. Zac Efron's good in it. Like he's a good like he yeah. you know he's not funny, but he's good in he's it. He's something. He's something. He could sing if you ever made him. He didn't, but it could. They yeah. should. Yeah, he probably should. He should sing in everything. He's looking a little odd nowadays. He's got like a weird. I think he had an accident or something. He had to get like facial surgery. Or Did something. he? Yeah. Oh well. Wow. Now I feel like a jerk. Oh wow, wow. Um, no, because it's like some people think it's like he was trying to get like cosmetic surgery. Yeah. And I can't find if it's cosmetic surgery or he had an accident and he had to get like facial surgery. But he does look weird. I'll give you that. He's a weird looking guy. <laughs> what did you watch this week? <laughs> Something way worse than that. Uh, Ruby Gilman's The Kraken. Teenage Kraken. The yeah. Teenage Kraken. It's terrible. I have a short coming out. Um, we were editing it actually before the stream. The trailer shows you the entire movie, the plot of it, everything. It's going to last year? It came out this sh- maybe late last year. I think it was last year. Yeah. So essentially they're like, Krakens are good, contrary to popular belief, mermaids are bad. Yeah. And you lead that, and then you show the bad mermaid, right? Yeah. And then you show her betraying the, the girl. It's all in the trailer. All in the trailer. Yeah. So then when me and Dez sat down and watched this movie, you see the mermaid, and I'm like, I already know how this is going. Mm-hmm. She's going to betray her, and then she's, they're going to fight at the end. Like, I saw everything. And the trailer's misleading because, like, you can turn invisible, you have camouflage, you have super speed. Those powers don't exist in the show I'm or in the movie. Have a place to put them. Like, like when, when would she use her yeah. invisibility or whatever? Well, the whole time she's doing training montages is because the, they, mermaids are, like, weak compared to krakens because mm. krakens get really big. Yeah. Well, they find this trident of Oceanus, which in Greek mythology, Oceanus is the titan lord of the oceans. Oh. So that's where you get that from. Cool. So they use that ti- the trident to the get kraken big. The kraken is a Greek cr- creature, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. But um, so the mermaids get really big when they're holding the trident. There's a big war and stuff. Well, her mom is actually like a really good warrior, but the grandma, all she wants to do is fight, and the mom wanted a life, so this she is the left. kraken? Yeah. Hmm. So the mom took the trident and threw it in the source of all life kind of thing. You go to the bottom of the ocean, it's like the source of like everything kind of thing. And so you have to go through these channels to get to it, but only a kraken can because they have hardened skin. They have laser eyes to break up the rocks that are in the, mm. the thing. Um, they have laser eyes? Yeah, it's... Um, this is this is too it's much. It's bioluminescence that you can superheat. That's interesting. And then yeah, throw yeah. it out kind of thing. It's good that they explained it, you know? Yeah, so all of her training montage is so that she can go in there and get the trident because the, the mermaid's like, I'm actually the daughter of the evil queen, so if you get the trident, we can show that we can be friends instead of fighting. And then she gets the trident. She goes, just kidding. I'm actually the evil queen. I don't mm, have a daughter. Boom. Betrayal. Wow. Stupid movie. Stupid. And they're disguised as humans without disguising themselves. Yeah. They put on clothes, and then they go to school, work, and all that stuff. I was going to say, like, Luca. You remember that movie, Luca? Yes. Did you watch it? No. It's it's very similar to sea monsters that go on land and stuff. And yeah. Like, they turn into humans when they go on land. Like, they look just like humans. Yeah, I remember that. Like, when they're just dry. But then they get, like, you can spill water on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, Arnar, Clear. Arnar. Arnar. Clear. Did you ever watch that show? No. I watched but it. But that's what it was like. It was, it like, was like Totally Spies, but mermaids instead. Was it live action? Yeah. Oh. It was on like Nickelodeon. It was called H2O. <laughs> right. 
But I'm pretty sure it was an Australian show. 100%. And then Nickelodeon yeah, they just, got it. They just, they, it was already made, so Nickelodeon's like, can we just... We'll just, just take it just and take air it, it over yeah. here. Clear. Oh, no. I hate that people say it, dude. Um... Anyway, yeah, Ruby Gilman. I think uh, I think you don't need Kraken's like like Shrek, right? Shrek is an evil ogre who turns he's out is actually a sweet guy, oh. and you get to know him, and he's nice. Yeah, we don't need that formula for every single mythology. I like the theme of Krakens are good, mermaids are bad. I like that. Kraken, Krakens and mermaids are like like Krakens are way down here, mermaids are up here. Like it should be a different. So it's thing. nice to switch it. I'm just saying, don't no, show I mean, it on Krakens, the trailer. Krakens are not like a species. Like it's one. It's the Kraken. You release the Kraken. That's true. It's not like That's the Krakens true. need to be like a whole race of people. It could be. That's the cool part, though. I guess. I think with the right the premise, but is they're sound. like little people. They're not like. So the mom, the matriarchs of the royal family, can turn into big krakens. Everyone else just looks like sea monkeys. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. This makes me sound. This 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 is like okay. Let's in my head, right? Right, right. right. And I think this is even like the the, the truth. Um, you get you get Disney being like, we're gonna release a Little Mermaid remake. Yeah. And um, we're DreamWorks flipping on its head. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's Little Mermaid, but you know, it's live action or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not as good, obviously, right off the bat. Uh, I think DreamWorks is like, hey, they're doing a Little Mermaid. Let's let's fuck with them. Let's let's make a movie making fun of the Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then they're like, okay, well, Ursula is the octopus one. So what's an octopus? Uh, a like kraken. The kraken. Yeah, let's Ooh. do krakens. And so it's like, okay, they kind of went from there. Um, I did try to watch this, by the way. I watched the first like five minutes and gave up on it. Weak. Like when she's like explaining her life and she's like talking to her parents and stuff. I was like, this is also, the cringiest dialogue. Also, all of her family was just good at everything they did. Yeah. Like the know. the mom was a successful real estate agent, the best in the world. Sure. The guy had a successful streaming thing where he put sh- ships in bottles okay. and he had like ASMR, and then the son was like a star athlete dodgeball player. Okay. Good. But like, it's because they're mythical creatures. I guess. So they were just <laughs> they got to be good at everything. Yeah, yeah. And she was like a mathlete. She's super smart, like crazy super smart. I don't know. I, it's just the a movie dumb concept. Sucked. I think yeah. the concept was good. I think the concept was there. Mm. I think the movie surrounding the concept. Maybe sucked. it was just the one kraken. Maybe if there wasn't like a whole family of them. <sighs> yeah, maybe. But still, it's like a kraken should be like yeah, a. There big... was only one mermaid. Oh, it's, that's weird. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because normally you get a well, bunch they of said mermaids. there was like a war between the mermaids and the krakens. Oh. And only the the grandmama. My thing is like, I, is kraken really like that much of a like a you know like a namesake that you would sell a movie based on it? I don't know. I, I feel would like say like just call them like the squid people or something. Squid people. That's, that, not that's my cool. whole thing is because like the kraken is but one kraken big monster. Kraken sells. Uh, does it? I was I'm asking like does that does kraken do you do you go watch a movie because of krakens in it? And that's they're the not only even reason krakens. I watched Wrath of the Titans. They're like big. He was Clash of the Titans. I don't think he was in Wrath. Okay. Wrath. Wrath. Let me tell you something, Wrath sized hole. <laughs> but my thing is, right? Like, make them either look like the Kraken. Don't make them just like a big, weird jellyfish looking thing. It didn't look like a Kraken. That's what I'm saying. Make it look it like an actual have Kraken. Beaks. Make it have a beak. Give me the beak. Yeah. What'd that beak do, just dog? Don't like stray away from like Kraken mythology because you're going to do like Where's a teenage the ink? thing. She didn't shoot ink anywhere. <laughs> Don't even. I can't even. I hate you, dude. You thought the H2O movie was a movie series? That is wrong. I remember watching it on as a TV show. I think it started as a movie. Oh, interesting. You can call me wrong, though, too, if you find something that disproves that. I'm pretty sure it was a TV show, though. I thought it was. I don't know. Oh, no. I was wrong. Clear. I think it TV started shark. as a movie, and then it became a show. That would make sense to me. H2O yeah. a show. Yeah, three seasons. Ha! I knew it. I bet it had a movie, though, too. Oh, nar! Clear. Now I'm going to say it, dude, and I don't want to say it's it. It's so addicting, isn't it? It is. Ar- like, nar! I, I hated I for Gore, and now <laughs> I, like, say it sometimes, you know? I like uh, Bogo's Binted. Bogo's Binted. I didn't even understand that. People just said it. He's like, hey, did you get your photos printed? Bogo's Binted? Bogo's Binted. <laughs> what? I <laughs> 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 like the alien noise. Uh, did you watch anything else? I did, but I don't remember. I, like, I watched a couple things with my mom, and I don't remember what I did. We did watch the first two episodes of the new Fallout show on Amazon. It's banging. Yeah, well, we'll have those of these out for you this upcoming week. We're reviewing them long long style. Long style. Long dong We're talking style. big daddy long dong. <laughs> um, it's good, though. I would check it out. Yeah, um, it's really probably the best. Uh, we were talking about it in, the sh- in, the, in our review, but we've got Halo... Avatar, Percy Jackson, and Fallout, and this is like leaps and bounds better than any of the other three. Yeah, and it's, I mean, like, it's more free to do an adaptation because it's I'm an RPG. Free. 
follow. Whereas like Avatar, Percy Jackson, like they're all kind of stuck they have in their to, own Yeah, they have thing. to follow those things. You know but like I mean? Halo could have, in my opinion, Halo could have done like something different. Yeah, Halo could have not sucked. Yeah. You know, and you you do a lot of like you get it out of a lot of uh, criticisms because a lot of times it's like what is, it's just an adaptation. It's the same story. I've already heard the story before. It's yeah. like, this is new. You know? This is new. I I appreciate that they're doing it. Yeah, I love it. What other RPGs could they make movies like this or shows out of Dungeons like and Dragons? They tried that. It worked very well. I liked it a lot, but yeah. it didn't make a ton of money. It didn't make a ton of money, but it was received very well. It was received very well. I think they they might do a new one. Chris, I think they're uh, going to. Chris Pine keeps talking about like oh maybe we'll you know. Yeah. Maybe we'll throw a new one out there. I've always thought, you know, this is completely off topic. Where do big companies keep their money? Banks? You no, know, see, banks only insure you up to like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars. You have a bunch of accounts. Yeah. Or do do companies have a different way of banking? It must be like a company account, yeah. Because you think about Warner Brothers spends a hundred hundred let's just say a hundred million sure. on a on a movie. Where is that money coming from? How are they paying people? Maybe it's like stocks. Like, they've like got all when they on. write checks for people, you know what I mean? Where is that money coming from? Their account, I don't know. But yeah, where's that account? It Not physically, like, but like how is that account managed? Well, it's all probably data, right? It's all just like... Ones and zeros? Yeah. But I'm saying like, who do they bank with? Are they at fucking Wells Fargo, you know? Shirley. I'm or don't bank call me America. Shirley. Shirley. My name's not Shirley. You never seen that? <laughs> Airplane? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> of course, I've seen her play. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something I've been th- thinking on a little bit. You know, I don't I mean? know because when we get as big as Warner Brothers, we're gonna have to find out where to put all that yeah, money. Yeah, all the millions and trillions of dollars we got. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. In my mattress, like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, <laughs> put it in my sock drawer. Haven't you heard of a bank? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think Mr. Krabs would be okay with a bank. You imagine? No, yeah. You ain't getting me money. Me money stay by me side. <laughs> Boyo. Boyo. Sponge boy me bob. Okay, so Armor 99 says assets, and they pay it in dividends to the stockholders that reinvest it. That's what I was thinking, like investments, yeah, like stocks or something. That sounds very complicated and easily money laundered. Well. Voice crack. You know, it's probably... It's probably what's happening. Probably a lot of illegal shady stuff going on. Probably. Why can't I get in on this stuff? You know what I mean? Because it's illegal. I don't know. Yeah, but they're getting away with it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's I think it's just people that know people. What? In Minecraft. <laughs> what, where did rob a Look, bank come from? You want to get rich quick? <laughs> this is not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> we will be selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> we have what people want. We just need to get them the, you know, what they want, and we'll get their money. There you go. It's a business. Typical. Yeah. Easy. And the cops try to pull us over and be like, hey, we'll give you a discount. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The, this is the 911 discount. Yeah, so I would definitely watch um, Ricky Stanicki and Fallout. Don't watch Ruby Gilman's Teenage Kraken. Ricky Stanicki is almost like a fall ba- or fall throwback movie. Yeah, you know? to like old time comedy. It's like a or like an early two thousands comedy. I miss comedy, dude. I want some comedy movies. Check them out. Just straight up. Check them out. What? Check, check out what? Ricky Stanicki. Oh, I'm talking about. Just give me more comedy movies. Sure. You gonna make them? Me and you. They don't make money. Is the problem? Why don't they? Because no one watches. How them. much does Pineapple Express make? That was an action comedy. That's stupid if they think that's an action that's comedy. That's an action comedy. No. There's lots of action scenes in that. I disagree. I disagree. I was about to say digress, but that doesn't work, you know? <laughs> Watch it again and tell me it's not an action comedy. Don't tell me what to do. What was the last time you saw I'll it? I'll break your pen again. <laughs> you okay. Um, I don't know, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> like What's a regular and... co- Hit me a regular comedy. What was the last regular um, comedy? Like, like This is 40 or something. Okay. How much did that make? I don't know. I don't know. That's got like a lot of big actors in it. Yeah. Maybe that's another reason they don't make money. They throw well, all these big actors. So okay, let's 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 talk about this is from Paul Rudd's perspective, right? We got Paul Rudd and this is, is he 40. a big actor? Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's huge. What is that about? Yeah. Um I think it's all streaming stuff. Like uh he did that movie where he was like clones or whatever. Did you see that? No. What was it? It was a series, I'm sorry. So he did that series for like Netflix. What is it? I, it's called like Me and Myself or something like that. I don't know. It's like a Paul it's like a Paul Rudd he clone he gets cloned. I'm I'm realizing there's a lot more cloning movies than I was aware of. Yeah, that might be a good tier list. Yeah, top ten clearing <laughs> cloning movies. My back is killing me. So what you think streaming has killed comedy? Not killed it, but just evolved it into different different form. Because you'll still you'll still see, still see comedy like series. Yeah, you know, I just think big blockbuster movies don't you know big comedy blockbusters don't get made anymore. Like yeah, they used to. But you said they're not big blockbusters if they're failures. That's what I'm saying. They don't they make money. So. What was the last big blockbuster comedy, you think? I don't know. Look it up. Um, while he's doing that, while, I'm going to talk a little bit about my favorite video game of all time is Destiny 2. 
Um, they just released a bunch of information for their new DLC coming out in June. It's called The Final Shape. They're letting you mix and match your super subclass, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be really fun. Rumors are that it was supposed to be slated for a Destiny 3 release, but they were like, we need everyone on board to watch this Final Shape game, buy it, play it and stuff. So I think they hustled to get it put out first. Um, you guys can go watch. They have a whole Vidoc video documentary talking about it. It's like 20 minutes long, but it's pretty cool. If you're into Destiny, if you've played Destiny before and you want to get back into it, if you play video games, it's a really fun one to play with your friends kind of thing. Um, I would definitely go see it. Another video game news. We've got Fallout 4 just came out with um, upgraded specs for next-gen consoles with a new quest for Enclave in it. So you've got 60 frames per second, higher FOV kind of thing, uh, just better graphics in general with a bunch of new mod stuff built into the game, I believe. So that seems fun. I'm going to be trying to stream that on the channel once we move to the new location. So stay tuned for that. Hopper's wanting to do New Vegas, so he'll probably be streaming some New Vegas. We're going to stream at the same time so he can get some more views. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we'll have some streaming stuff going up. You guys can watch it. Uh, we'll still be doing this every Saturday, talking more media, but just to interact with you guys more, we want to do some more live streams. Casual stuff. We're just adding, not taking yeah, away. No, no taking away, just adding. And, you know, if it's not prosperous or we don't like it or whatever. But we both like playing video games, and we figured it's an easy way to talk with you guys, our viewers. So um, It's just fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to play video games. I love – I'm I'm a gamer. You are gamer. A, damn. Are you insulting gay people? No, I just said you're a gamer. I'll take that out of context. Cancel you. <laughs> I said you are a gay. A hostile takeover. <laughs> once we make some money. Um, yeah, none of these movies are comedies that I'm looking at. It's they like, released an update for a game that came out like eight years ago. I think it was to get more hype around um, the Fallout show. Hmm. Fallout Four was probably the best like entry level. If you've never played a Fallout game, it's really good to get into that game. Um, Fallout seventy six was universally hated. It's kind of on the come up, but at the same time. It was really bad at launch, so it's hard to get that taste out of your mouth. And so I think that's why they, they did that. It's like, hey, we hype this up, you know? And I think people have just been begging for it a lot. People love Fallout 4. That's, I, honestly, I think that's why. And, I mean, they've been doing it with Skyrim for the past 12 years. Wasn't there, like, a Fallout live service game? <clears throat> yeah, that's Fallout 76. Oh. Was it came it? out bad. It was not good. When they first initially wanted to do the fixes, they wanted you to pay for it. <laughs> they essentially said, join this club, which is not unknown. Like, um, Elder Scrolls Online has, like, a club where you can get a bunch of benefits. They did that with Fallout, but they said, we're going to fix all these issues. If you join the club, all these things are fixed. Mm. They didn't phrase it like that, but they said. So people were not happy about that, so they had to walk that back. Mm. Um, it's good now. They didn't have any NPCs in the game before because it was supposed to be open world, but everyone joined with each other. They didn't like that. The game was, like, empty, and you got all your quests and stuff from, like, audio tapes and stuff it was just oh. a really bad launch launch it took a long time to get fixed there's people playing it now but it's not like talked about yeah so is it one of those that got better after launch though yeah it's better now i tried playing it probably about a couple months ago but then i fell off because i was doing other things and i just mm -hmm. didn't want to get into it too bad but i've heard it's good but i'll probably never play it again i'd, I'd just go back to fallout 4 yeah or a new one if they, they should probably make a new one yeah yeah they spent Tom. so much money on starfield i think so so much time and effort. Now the new one that'll actually make money. <laughs> yeah. Second favorite game other than Destiny, Fallout Four, probably not. Uh, he's wanting me to say it. Fine, I'll say it. Elden Ring is in top three. Elden okay. Ring. I don't know if it's second. No, Halo Reach is second favorite. I don't even know what you're getting from me, bro. But Elden Ring is de definitely in there. Top three would probably be Destiny Two, Halo Reach, Elden Ring. Hmm. Top three. But welcome to the chat, Brock Smith. Uh, Wait, so Fallout 76 has a surprising, surprisingly large percentage of middle-aged women playing it. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That's funny. Because the music? I don't know. You know. Like 70s music in that? Well, it's all like 50s music, 50s, 60s kind of thing. Oh, I thought it was more like a 70s. Vibe. No, Fallout 76 is supposed to reference like 1776 and all that kind of stuff. 1776? Like the founding fathers and stuff. Because you're going back to New England and stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I thought it was like Vault 76. Mm-mm. Well, I think you're out of Vault 76, but 76 is... Uh, 1776. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Halo, Halo Reach. Reach. Yes. Great, top, Great three. top three. I know, bro. You ain't got to tell me, dude. What Look was it? it? Destiny. It, Destiny 2, Halo Reach, Elden Ring. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I've made so many friends off Destiny 2, it can't not be my is Elden So Elden Ring just came out there, right? It came out two years Last ago? Last year. Oh, yeah. Two years ago. It's that good, Hopper. Wow. Like, it's phenomenal. It's better than all the other Dark Souls stuff? If you ask my buddy Brody, he says Dark Souls 3 is still better. Huh. Me and Redmo both agree that Elden Ring is better. Elden Ring has, like, open world, and it's got more builds that are viable, a lot more weapons. 
It's just really fun. Hmm. They introduce a lot of things. I like it a lot. It seemed like it was like, yeah, it was like a, a, a evolution almost in the yeah. Dark Souls kind of format. So what was uh, the last blockbuster? I couldn't find anything. It was all just like action movies that had like funny Damn. moments or something. Yeah. It was like Hobbs and Shaw. I'm Has like, it always just been action comedy and we just never noticed it? No, like Scary Movie was, well, Scary yeah. Movie was a horror comedy. Oh, the VAT system makes it accessible to older people, and it has the customization house building elements. I love that, dude. Yeah. I hate building bases and stuff, though. <laughs> they really put that hard in Halo, um, uh, Fallout, Fallout 4, 4, and I was just like, I don't care about this. Our buddy Curtis I remember, yeah. does nothing <laughs> was, but build bases. I, I called him over one that. day. I said, hey, build me a base. So we sat there for four hours. He had my controller, and he goes, does this look good? And I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And he goes, oh, we could do this instead. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll do that. You know, My Funny base before obsessed. that was a steel box you know, with a chest inside of it. So I love that. Uh, Dark Souls 3 slaps. So it does slap. It is a phenomenal game. Which, uh, Brock, which Dark Souls game should I get in on? Like, What's the best one to like, start off with? I would say Elden Ring. I think he'd, I think he'd say that too, but I'm not sure. Oh, what did you? We said Rev. Oh, Revo. Hopper hates the new Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. I didn't hate it, but it was very boring. Yeah, you, it you was hard to asleep. watch. Actually, yeah, yeah, you fell asleep with it. I don't know. It's like the human characters were. Not, what, were what were the names? What were their? What were they even? You doing? know, I can't tell you what their names. Yeah, are. right. What were the Transformers even doing? I forgot Pete David. Oh, Mirage. That's what it was. I, was about to say. I forgot his <laughs> name. Then. Um, I don't even remember who was it. Like which Transformers were in? It was Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Mirage, Mirage, Optimus Primal. Oh, he yeah, had the big monkey. Yeah, see, big, there's a big, big how's monkey. There, how's there a big monkey in a movie? I don't like it. That's what I'm saying. How's there a big robotic monkey in a movie? I don't like it. I think you're crazy. What was the whole plot? Of, what was even the point of that movie? Peter Dinklage was. <laughs> <Peter. laughs> you said Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Peter Dinklage, dog. <laughs> anyway, um. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not like against the idea of Transformers. I like Transformers. The, the idea slaps. The yeah. toys are like some of the best toys ever created. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because they transform. It's the best. Yeah. It's a car and it's a robot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Brock said, "Come on, Van Man." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What if my van would turn into a, a Transformer? Um. Yeah, but that was. Uh, Remo started with Elden Ring and then went Dark Souls three. I went Dark Souls three and went to Elden Ring. Honestly, either way, you kind of just have to do your research first because the first whatever you play, you need a little bit of help from online. Okay. If, if you're not into that kind of thing, in yeah, my opinion, it, it always seems like you need like because there's always a hidden wall or yeah. like something crazy yeah. going on. Or. And that's why we both had our buddy Brody who just like coached us through all yeah. of it. You know what I mean? Now we're both better than Brody. Ah, he would agree with that for sure. <laughs> I'm know? sure he would. Yeah. He would say stuff, and I'd be like, I don't know, I don't think you're right. And he just went, <laughs> okay. Okay, that's cool. And I'm like, whoa, bro, calm down. Relax. You, know, you ain't got to be yeah. so angry about it. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, the B revival was interesting. The B revival? The Bumblebee gets killed and gets brought back. Honestly, I wasn't really impressed with that. <laughs> I kind of felt like it was expected he was coming back. Yeah. Also, Mirage dies and comes back. Yeah. I feel like there was too many. Everyone's dying and coming back. Too, ma- too much of that. Human, ki- human characters are always the weakest link in Transformers kaiju movies. They really are. But, like, we need someone to do the exposition. Well, that's my thing. Like, Godzilla and Kong doesn't really focus on them. Like, yeah. Transformers, like, heavily focus on them. It was like, this yeah. is these are these are the characters we're doing, and you need to care about them. Like, the first third of the movie was all humans. Yeah. Whereas, like, Godzilla Kong, like, you showed a lot of Kong mm-hmm. in the beginning of it. Yeah, for sure. Anyway. I, and, I, like, I get the criticism there, too. But, like, mm-hmm. G.I. Joe and Transformers about to cross over, so maybe we'll get some fun human characters, too. Ooh, Des was in the stream. She said, great stream. You guys are the best podcast bros. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate it. Hope you have fun at the concert. What concert was it? She's told me, like, four times. Oh, you don't know? It's some... I call it... Des likes uh, 90s R&B, and I just call it <laughs> baby-making music, you know? Uh, t- t- I don't know. It's something Nicole or Cole or something like that. I don't know, what man. A terrible Maybe boyfriend. she's gone already and she doesn't know <laughs> this part. That's funny. I um, hope she's gone. I'm about to see a comment that says otherwise, though. Yeah. I feel it coming. But, yeah, I would... Uh, bro, Dark Souls is so good. If you get into it, I'll be right there with you. I'd probably Elden Ring first, too. Let's go. I'm thinking about getting a PS5 when I move out. Cause... Dude, do it. Honestly, <laughs> you could borrow mine for now if you wanted. Well, are you not playing it at all? I'm not playing it right now. I want to play Spider Man. I just haven't gotten around to play it. I figured if I did, I could. Just I heard it's not it back. the best. I, uh, p- r- don't say that. Yeah, you don't say that. I was gonna say reputation like shifts, but people were like, it's "Best game ever." And Honestly, they were like, "Oh, it kind of sucks." I, I want to tell you the most fanatic fan group I've seen online Spider-Man. recently is the Spider Man fan group. Yeah, they are rabid. They go crazy. They do over the smallest little stuff. Yeah, I'm waiting to see. Anyway, um, 
But yeah, either way. Um, yeah, if you want to borrow, you can just borrow my PlayStation. Sure. I Honestly. I let Tristan borrow it for a while. Uh, and I've got uh, God of War in there. You can just play it. PS5 might not be as expensive got, now, right? Yeah, I think they're like three ninety nine. It's not it's bad. Terrible. Yeah. Just got to move out. I got a bunch of moving out yeah. costs and stuff. Moving, you know? out. moving in, too. You just you don't realize you need something until it's not there and you're yeah. making a trip to Walmart at 10 o'clock at night. I'm like making little lists in my head because like yeah. there's, no, there's no like lighting in my apartment. Yeah, so, so you got to get like a shit ton of lamps. Every time I come in there like late at night, I'm like, oh, I can't see anything. It's like, Great. I love lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get at least five lamps. I swear to God. <laughs> Scatter them around that bitch. Yeah, dude. <laughs> But yeah, I think this about wraps up the stream, guys. Um, thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> appreciate it. Got a lot of chats there at the end. Thanks, Armored, for being here throughout the whole thing. We appreciate, we appreciate you, bro. You. We'll have more. Um, I'm sure we'll movie news will kind of steady out. Either it was all released this week, but I think, I think, think we're gonna get trailers next. We'll week. get some trailers, some actual stuff to yeah. talk about next week. So um, stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And like I said, there's a bunch of news everywhere all yeah. the time. So we had some. We had a pretty good stream. It was about two hours still. So yeah, about two hours. Uh, this week on the channel, we've got Ben Ten uh, coming out on Monday. That's gonna be yep. the game ev over episode. Yep. With uh, Ben and the Samurai mm -hmm. Sumo Slammers. And then we'll have Fallout on Wednesday and Friday. Friday. Let us know Episodes if you like it. Two. Yeah, um, it's all released at once, so we're trying to keep a, keep with the. We're kind of just trying to not like fall behind, I guess. Fall out, fall of out, the fallout. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna try and do two episodes a week just to keep with it. It'll still be four weeks. Like if people are still yeah. talking about the show in four weeks, we'll That's see. That's great, you know. Yeah, we'll but it's see. better four weeks than eight weeks. Exactly. Yeah. So plus that gives us more time to like do stuff later, mm -hmm. you know, in the year. Um, yeah, and check it out because if you want to watch it first and then come talk to us it will be spoiler reviews yeah so um yeah. definitely watch it first but you know watch and it's it. all like i said it's all out right now so you can just watch yeah. every bit of it so yeah and uh yeah we'll see you guys next week for the next stream so see you then